logged up later. shortly after you left town. The realization that you know, despite what you said to Jacquard, the wolf does exist. You, more than anyone, should know. If this hunter, whoever they are, successfully kills the wolf, all of your efforts will be for naught, and more likely than not, this entire region of the forest will fall into chaos once more. And scenes like those you saw months past will return. Anyone who travels in or near the, the forest will be in danger as the hierarchy collapses. If the hunter dies, if they do not return to Nautis, you know that this will likely result in the wolf itself being marked for death. Not as a hunt, but as a contract kill. Such is the way of things in Gradia. If it is deemed a great enough threat, you know mercenaries will get involved, and if that happens, you have no hope of stopping them. This urgency spurred you on. You did not return to Nautis. You did not return to the Grove. Despite the lack of light and the difficulty traversing nocturnally, you have pushed on. As first light begins to rise, you've been following signs here and there that someone, hopefully the right person, has been moving. You found a couple of traps. They were not sprung. You did not set them. You found signs of various animals scattering as though being displaced or afeared of something passing by. This is not unusual. Less experienced hunters cause these sorts of things to happen all the time. All of these and more are signs that you are on, hopefully, the right track. You can't imagine any other hunter would be out here this late at night. As dawn begins to rise, you are following a fresh pair of tracks. Fresh in a loose sense. They take you in this direction. looks to be blood, though it's not the freshest. This implies an impact. Something happened here. Looking around in the immediate vicinity, you notice that a lot of the <coughs> grass has been dug up harshly, as though it was uncontrolled. Heavy footfalls. They match what you would expect from the wolf of the size that you are concerned for. But it also destroys the footprints you were tracking. Damn. Okay. What do you do, Lorelai? What do you do, or what do you look for? Mm -hmm. Give me a couple of small I'm animals nearby. Going. Birds, foxes. Just in the periphery. Enough 
Consider that someone coming up here would immediately be able to duck out of sight as they crest at the top. Uh. Around the right side, you see a dip. Give me three deer, group up, and I want you to just go from one e in front of her. I want you to go from one end of the area to the other. Meet up on Sakura. I want three of you. Directly ahead, you spy a pair of deer. Their attention seems pulled by something approaching, but they otherwise seem unconcerned. As far as you can tell, they are a bonded pair. They seem to just be grazing. On my mark, you're going to turn hard left and just run. Suddenly, they seem to notice something. Something beyond your perception spooks them, and they flee. Glitches. Perfect. She's triangulating the opposite direction. That's what we want. All right. Go invisible. You're out of sight. I want you to go ahead of where she's moving, up this hill. Give me a couple more small animals, some foxes, also running in this same direction. From it, rather. Small animal, a bird, get them flying past Lorelei. Give her a direction. You pause and listen. 
More movement nearby, mostly small. But they're moving quickly. You look around, trying to spy it. Something has clearly happened. Clearly happened. Movement. Movement. A fox runs a fox past, the past the tree. On your left. Good shit. Good shit. <clears throat> All right, do you guys see where I'm currently standing? Come to me, <gasps> come to me. Quickly, quickly, quickly. You're gonna go over this hill, down into the valley below, okay? Over the hill. As you approach this tree, the side of it has been cracked. The bark has been snapped off. The debris seems to come over here, implying the force applied was sudden and fast. You draw an image of your mind of something or someone running past quickly and crashing into it, splintering the bark and bits of wood forward in the direction of movement. Ray sets, can you see where I am from where you are? Up the hill. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, I want you... Oh, she's going down the hill. I want you to go ahead of her to uh, keep going in the direction of Sakura. I'm going to direct her that way, and I'm going to have you set up. Sakura, I want you to set up a little bit further past him and become visible. The three of you wait nearby. <clears throat> There's blood in the soil. You find a trail. I guess you Rolling. Want to do this. What is this? The blood is wet. It is very fresh. You listen around. Rolling. Applying plus four for your major. With a total of a 19, Lorelei. Your senses turn you around in the other direction. You move very slowly. Yeah, I want you visible. Remember, uh, race sets, I want you closer. Perfect. Where you are is perfect. Stay right there. Animals, I want you three out uh, in the bounds. Get your get your choices ready. Lorelai's gonna start <coughs> moving up. I'm gonna stay unmuted in here so you guys can track what's going on. <coughs> the trail continues. It follows the flow of the land, avoiding the hills. blood. There's something ahead of you. Past the tree. There. There's someone in the thicket straight ahead. They are crouched. And at this distance, you can tell they are bleeding. You don't recognize them. In an open space ahead of them, you can see a massive wolf, bloodied, pacing. It seems you found your quarry. Lorelai, how will you approach this? Uh, 
Understood. You are going to try and sneak up on the individual. Rolling your stealth. Plus two for your minor attribute, as you are in a forest. The 17 on the die, plus two for a 19. If he's noticed you, he makes no sign. He's going to startle you. I'll let you know when she... You'll, you'll know when she reaches you. I'm going to mute in here so that I don't double my furry sets. she is. We'll go back and I'm just going to like lay down right here. Remember, the only thing that will convince you is if you are convinced that your life is more important or that it's at risk. Feel free to make references to how shit everything has been. Make references to world events.
I will actually roll for that. I want my three animals lingering up on the hills, but I want them visible. I will give her one more opportunity to convince you. As you do recall, there was a period of time when the animals got more chaotic. I want all, an all of the animals to be moving about and visible. Make sure you're standing, Wolf. More pacing about. <laughs>
gonna aim right between those two trees. And then loop the background to the right. Get really close to them. Two boars? Yeah, there's two boars. Oh no, that's no, that's the same boar. I'm just turning with the mirror in it. Why does it? Why does it? Well. I guess if it's injured, it's not gonna like drag its foot backwards the other way. Probably put like very little weight on it going the other way. And that's all the hint I'm giving her. You are going to turn and start preparing yourself. You are no longer regarding her. Her only out at this point is to knock you unconscious. Spies the wolf. <laughs> Sakura, do a quick model reset. It's it's flickering back and forth. Oh, fuck. Give me like a second. Oh boy. Other animals start to get close. Start to close in. You've spied your alpha and it is injured. Remember, one of you should be a bear. Yeah, there is a bear. It's a very glitchy bear. Uh, she rolled a nine. 
Oop. Oh. Four lines. You entreat with him in the only way you can think of that is left. He seems to value his life and his safety above all else. To him, this hunt is a potential for that. To secure a future that his friends could not have. He has watched death around him and he is far worse equipped from what you can tell than many of the people you know who meet death on the daily. For a moment, his bowstring becomes less taut. And then he turns to you. But his words are not what you had hoped for. With a nine, he raises. An arrow has flown. It has not hit anything. Everything nearby is startled. The wolf has become incensed and angered. <sighs> you are going to start coming this way. A howl can be heard as heavy steps begin to approach in this direction. <laughs> Sakura? All the animals follow with. You're gonna run them down. Remember, you're injured. You're, you're fight or flight, and you've chosen fight. Resets, you're only running. You're not full speed running, and Lorelai's gonna have to pay attention. Call out to her. They trail they behind trail you. Behind you, hear you footsteps, hear footsteps approaching, footsteps from, approaching the rear, from the rear. Lorelei, the hunter, the hunter cannot, cannot run, run at full speed. speed. You are dragging, you are dragging him. him as the wolf as the wolf down. Pause. down. Pause. Pause. Lorelai, Lorelai, you feel, you the, feel wolf the wolf right behind, right behind you. It is about, it is about pounce. to pounce. You can make a single action here. But this wolf has caught up to you. Animals will outrun you, and it is about to strike. You can do one thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Flash powder. <gasps> Un understood. Rolling. <gasps> oh, no. I'm sorry to the wolf. with a five, you <sighs> turn, but the wolf is so close that it startles you. You end up... Th throwing the powder up into the air and before it comes down that wolf has its jaws on you rolling injury Hello. Jump. with a 14 <laughs> after modifiers plus one for a 15 the armor holds and it does not pierce your body but it flings you to the side and you will fall prone at the same time the flash powder hits the ground stunning everyone including the animals Unpause. Run! Fuck! You are blinded. You don't know where anything is or anyone. A bear approaching. You don't hear him. He seems to be going in a different direction. You've been split off from the hunter. As you begin to shake your eyes. You begin to shake begin your to eyes shake clean, your eyes Lorelei, clean, and you see the hunter is, the not, hunter near is not near you. The animals, the animals begin to begin bear, to down, bear on you. down on you. The wolf, the wolf, Come on, over the here. bear, a boar, a boar and a and furious, furious looking, looking fox. fox. The hunter is, hunter nowhere, to is nowhere to be seen. As you flee, they make chase. You feel them gaining on you. 
As fast as you are, animals are faster. I'm going at human speed because of injured. You hear a boar about to catch you. You can take a single action. <laughs> rolling, rolling. Lorelai, Lorelai with a with a six, six plus, one. plus one. As you try as and jump behind the, the tree, the boar, the boar catches, catches you with its, with its tusk. tusk. And oh, gores out, out your side. Your major, oh. major injury. As you are flung to the ground. Hunter, I want you to come back for her. Animals start surrounding her. Come on. Just help me out. Give me a. Ray sets, if you've lost where we are, uh, you can. Uh, to your left, to your left. Fuck. You slow down. You slow as you try and climb the hill. This is a rocky outcropping, and there's very little to grab onto. Give you a chance to escape. Out of your left periphery, you see the other hunter. He's across the way and seems to be aiming his bow in this direction. boar smashes the ground next to your foot as an arrow sings out and strikes it in the side, staggering it. <laughs> Rolling, Lorelei, Oz. Lorelei, this one is a dexterity check, not an injury check. With a 15 on the die, you feel the fox run underneath you and crash through your legs. You manage to roll and stay on your feet. Continue, on pause. <laughs> Keep going for her. Remember, Wolf, run past her. You're, use your full speed. <laughs> I love it there. Rolling, rolling. Hi there. Lorelai. Lorelai. With a one on the, the, die. One on the die. Oh, plus plus one, one for a two. two. The wolf grabs, the wolf you, grabs your you, leg, your leg in its jaw and, and starts, to thrash, starts to thrash you about. It flings, it flings flails, flails wildly, wildly as it tears, as it tears your, leg your leg open. And with a critical, and with a critical injury, injury, it tosses, it tosses you, to the you to the ground. Ray sets, if you need to teleport to us, do so. This hunter is going to try and pull her out of the fire. <laughs> The animals, the animals begin, begin to close, to close in, on in on you. As with, as your, with your injury, injury you, cannot you cannot stand. stand. This is how we do As they close, as they in, close in, in, such a bad way. From over, from your, over your head, several, several arrows, arrows fly just past, just past you. A few, you. Of, them a few of them strike the animals and send, animals them, and send scattering. them scattering. <laughs> The wolf, the wolf and, the and the boar, incensed by whatever is behind, behind, behind you, leap into leap action. Into the action. fox, the fox flees, entirely. flees entirely. Looking behind, Looking behind you, you, hear you hear the hunter calling out, calling out as though as baiting them, them, and he flees into the forest. Come on! I'm down.
Hello. <laughs> you want to you want to fall off the cliff? Drop Mike in my way. He's at a cliff. I don't think you can run off screen. <laughs> you can run off screen and die. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's uh, currently dealing with a. Uh, he's in a different call with Maple. Or there we go. Maple, do you want us to keep running off screen or? No, it's go invisible for now. Uh, where is she? I needed to let Faye know because of Faye, one of Faye's attributes, but Faye's also in the middle of something. <clears throat> you live, I guess. Fantastic. You can tell if we're on me, or silent. We're right by I'm uh, I'm gonna go back to patrolling. I guess I lost the hunter. I love how my mic just stopped working, like, as soon as we actually got out of here. That was fun. Mm -hmm. Yep, it happens. down there we go Soccer, heads up, you're still not invisible. Every trainer you've had has taught you. But Lauren always said, uh. read the intentions of your quarry. Learn their weakness and use it. <sighs> also, you're inside the tree. No, thank you. Do I not have my thing saved? Valron always said to empathize with Should. others. Uh, I should really be showing this, lol. To cherish them. To see things from their perspective. I'm trying to find my passwords. It's here. Always stressed compassion above all else. <clears throat> and in a way, you think you honored them. Good or bad, you Ooh. honored them. That man valued his life. You understand that appealing to his safety was the right choice. Yeah. Oh. But by then, unfortunately, his mind was too steeled. Perhaps, had you made other choices, well, again with Google, approached it differently, work? Was that it would the not have turned out this way. It was. It was the Google. see the trail of blood leading from where you fell to where you are. <laughs> trail for someone else to follow, perhaps. You try to reach for the potion in your, in your bag, but your fingers have no grip strength and it slips out of your grasp. Ugh, this has really changed. Did it do something? Brandon, since where she is, Maple? 
Uh, understood. One moment. Um, NPCs, let them know that I will be right back in less than a minute. I'm gauging direction. Fuck it. Maple will be back in a bit. We're not actually too far from the grove. What's that over there? Hmm. Oh, it looks like something real regarding the uh, oh. by something ferocious and large. I'm going to use a bandage not as a plus two medical roll, just as for flavor to wrap the meat closed, and then she's going to give her a potion for it, okay? Understood. Maple, Lisa's going yes. to whistle. She sent out two wood elves to bring her to this position. Understood. One moment. And it is Erebus and Apex. She's going to lean your head back and she's going to give you a tier 3 healing mean, potion. Okay. And we'll let the DM roll for that. And this is going to bandage your side. Erebus, Lisa has whistled. And she is calling for your and elf. she whistles. I can't whistle, so... You can teleport to me. when you can break away from what you're doing. You can teleport to me invisible. I can. You just Arabic, <laughs> Apex, both of you go invisible as soon as you can. Teleport to me. Lisa has whistled and is calling your elves from nearby her location. <clears throat> let me know when you let me know to confirm. Need a whistle. Need a Apologies, whistle I was sound. responding to Lisa's yeah, whistle. No worries. Okay. So DM DM uh, notes for you, Lorelai. I am now rolling this. This in, this this healing check. Your death timer was at 22 seconds left. <laughs> Shit. I would have had if that had passed. I would have had to roll. Um, Rolling the first. Okay, so yes. tier three, tier three for the critical that she's wrapped, but gave the tier three to mend it underneath it. Understood. Rolling. 
thank fucking god, with a three on the die, plus three for a six, which is the lowest you could have rolled to be successful. Because <laughs> remember, a five is a failure. The potion will barely be successful. Okay, and then she bandaged Erebus, the Apex, major. go somewhere close by, switch to your elves, and run in into the scene. You two are together because you were patrolling. Rolling for the major injury. <laughs> what are you treating it with? Uh, bandage plus two. <laughs> with another three <sighs> plus two for a five. The bandage is unsuccessful. The nature it's of so the injury tricky. is so rough. Something go this way. Over here. Yeah, oh, there they are. You would notice Trouble. that she, she did, uh, there's a potion at her side that she was probably hers and tried to use, but didn't have that strength. Oh, okay. Okay. That critical okay. injuries. What is it? You cannot it's tier two. Okay, so it's a tier two, right? Is it a tier two? Am I about to give you off you, person? Yeah, it's on the ground right there. Okay. Oh, rolling for a tier two potion. <laughs> All right. Before I roll, roll this, I want my hunter and my animals to appear again, okay? This hunter has literally been running aimlessly. You are going to collapse. I'm going to need Erebus and Apex to intercept. <laughs> Rolling. And you want a uh, wolf and animal just behind? With a seven plus two for a nine. The potion will do its work. <laughs> And the critical and major made critical will be restored. However, Lorelai, you are incredibly weak and cannot yet move. Insinuate that the hunter has basically ran them around the mountain. Sakura, if you need to, you can teleport off either me or Asimet. Wolf, wolf. Nothing good. Right here is good. Give you a head start. <clears throat> All right, me. Fucking loser. <laughs> I'm on human speed, by the way, because of my injury. I'm not on animal speed. That's why I'm not catching. And I'm among not... that movement, coming closer, you hear a voice, a male voice, yelling, "Oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh shit!" <laughs> Keep going. Come into the area. I want all the animals following behind behind the hunter. Do you guys know which direction to go? Yep. Yeah, it should be this way. Go to the right. Once you come into the, the right. You hear the movement behind you, and you hear people calling out back from where you started, Fay. Oh, fuck! Oh, what the fuck? Reset's coming in this direction. powder. Lisa, as you run forward, this bear ahead of you raises up, and with a critical one, before you were able to throw <laughs> oh down God, the powder, that's, that's too it flash actually powders. causes you to hesitate, as you did not realize how big it was, and it swipes at you. The flash powder is not consumed, but you are sent flying. Unpause. <laughs> No 
note for Lisa, you know this wolf is important because of everything Lorelai has told you. It cannot die. You recognize it. Chinese and wisdom roll. With a natural 20, as the claws come down on the elf's shield, the arrow hits it near the ear, the, boar, the bear falls back and collapses onto the ground before trying to scurry away. <sighs> oh, God. Grab. Yes, <laughs> Troll behind. <laughs> she is going to... Oh, is there a DM here? Nope. Give it a second. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Is completely yeah. feral. And it is injured. Oh, it is. It is. It, it oh, is okay. a wild animal. It is injured, and it is yeah. in fight or flight mode. The only thing you can do oh, is get. Hi. It's kind of terrifying. Good. <laughs> With your twenty, the only viable option is. Why am I sacrificing my life to this asshole hunter? I know that you want to explain hey, that. Hey, to just me. just think about think about it. You're sacrificing your life for Julie. <laughs> No offense, we said. It's just. Okay. Yeah, she wins. <laughs> Understood. Faye is, to clarify, Faye is going to use the horse to rush through everyone, and she's going to act as the decoy. DM. She's going to lead the animals away. DM. DM. Maple, need you over here for a few things. Uh. We got we got stuff going on. Yeah, we're we're yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll be yeah. way back. <laughs> Rolling. I tried to bite at Ray yes, sets Lisa. and then Lisa's doing something. Understood. She's essentially going to try to take its back legs out just to knock it down to give someone. This is a four leg this is a four legged creature, I have to give this a minus two. Understood. With a nineteen plus seventeen, you rip out its hind legs and collapses onto its stomach. <laughs> so, Maple, <laughs> yes. I grab Reset and let myself fall open to throw him in my back, so big, big wolf got a Understood, I this. won't, not <laughs> because of that sweep, that sweep has saved your ass. Unpause, okay. continue the scenario. <laughs> Shoot! Come <laughs> on, you don't want this. I don't want that too. Just leave. Step up. Someone lead the wolf. Lisa, go huh? fast. Lead it away. Stab it from behind and lead it away. The wolf turns, incensed by by Lisa, incensed by the elf, and it charges. Invisible. Come okay. down to my module room. Wolf, go invisible. <clears throat> Lisa is going to be is going to be forced to flee for quite some time. She is no stranger to this, however. But this wolf is faster than she is, and it will be a fight for her life. Lisa is going to disappear for a portion of the day and will later turn up gravely injured. However, Did you kill the boar? he has acted as the distraction. No, don't run away. You understand, Tron? Lisa is going to be gone until at least this evening, possibly tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll have to let Steve-O know since I have a blurb with her. Oh, in that case, I will have her disappear only until evening. I don't want to get in the way of a, mo of a, mo of a blurb. <clears throat> okay. I'll let him know either way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. okay. Um, I'm okay. Just to you. 
There's potions back at the grove if, if Mabel, she's needing I'm it, okay? The bear. Let me get oh, him please. back on the road and get him recovered and send Understood. him on his way. Uh, where is the hunter? Did the hunter flee? Oh no, the hunter's on the back of the horse. Uh, what injuries do you have? What is? The bear. Oh god. <laughs> what you did got dragon boulder. I'll do. This man is sporting a grand total of three major injuries. That seems to have accrued over a course of quite some time. They have managed to hold. This man's willpower and physical constitution are surprisingly high. Would it be best that uh, Wisdom Old Faith go ahead and bandage him up on the horse and then and then get him to the road? Is he the one who rode you? The best option since you're on horse is to get him to the clinic. What is that? Okay. I'm going to get him to the clinic. All right, here, take the potion back when we get into the clinic. All right, tell everyone that's where I uh, head to. I'm going to ride fast and hard. Please, if, if she is injured, please give her a potion. And there's some back at the camp. Okay? Be careful. Why do you want this bear, dear? Can I, might as well. A home? Yeah, just carve it up, make it easier to transport. <laughs> Sorry to do this all the What happened? Are we you just hunting? My animals are free to go. Thank you very much. You guys Last did fantastic. Night, you guys can head to back to town and fill in your, your other roles. Head to other modules. All my hard work go to waste. I couldn't let that hunter die too, otherwise that wolf would be branded for murder. Hey, I can finally turn on my trackers. I never had my, I didn't have my trackers on until now. <laughs> so my, so I'll be, my full body will be fully charged for quite some time. Hopefully soon this week I will get my replacement hip tracker. Hey Scrum, I might need a DM at my position. <laughs> if you're available. I know you're starting a model. Be there in a sec. Did I sign up for that module? Or a module of that sort. No, I didn't know. <clears throat> oh wow. There's lots of barrels and bucks. Jesus. Hmm. right now hmm. it's more of a personal request it's not guard related yeah. see. No, you don't have to stay here on my sake go do whatever yeah. unless you're getting some workers for that metal fella to, to help him out oh, he's helping me with this. Oh, afternoon oh, good afternoon good afternoon miss Marin. Yeah, I'm just having man teach me a few things. Hmm. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, the guards could probably use something like that too. <laughs> if you're an expert. 
I'm not gonna go back. And you're quiet, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, I was, I was saying, oh, I'm, I'm not an expert. Yeah, you know, she's just teaching me what she knows. And that's fine. We're just practicing. Fine. All good. I'll stop by your shop later. I have uh, something I need made or sewn. Oh, if you want, I could uh, yes. go ahead and take the order for you. Sure. Well, I bought this dye from the dye merchant in, in the merchant stalls. It's some red dye. And uh, my, my wife wants something lacy, kind of like what you're wearing. Hmm. But more of the under things, if you know what I mean. Oh, oh so something like that. All right. Mm. Mm. Would you mind if I undertook this one, Marin? All right. Um, I just need to uh, head back to the shop so I can figure out how much of it costs. I'll follow you. Let you be. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll go ahead I mean, you, well, I don't want to make any assumptions, but I know those, do those bathhouse ladies you use the, the, uh... Blurb for the bathhouse workers with Hopper? Please drop a scrimscram module. Sorry, say again? I don't want to assume much, but do, do the bathhouse uh, ladies uh, use uh, the oh, weaver services for their no. clothing? You uh, know? Oh, yes, we do. Um, I've, uh, I recently started working for Miss Marin. So, I know of a few mm -hmm. things about what gets ordered here and there. Right. This seems new. I don't remember those being here. Very mm -hmm. nice. Give them... Is this your own little private private uh, cutout of her stall, or is this her private quarters? This is uh, this is or just her... the office for the weaver shop. So we both kind of use it ourselves. Fair enough. Best of luck finding whatever the I hell you it. classify as lacy undergarments. Uh, would be technically under under the seamstress. It would technically, since it's very tiny, it'd be a simple it'd be a simple garment. So it'd only be thirty copper. Mm -hmm. Thirty copper. All right. That's a uh, half now, half on delivery. I assume. Mm -hmm. Fifteen copper first, and then fifteen Perfect. on delivery. Yes. All right. Couple days. Uh, should take I'm about soon. one or two days. I'll have to confirm with Marin. All right. Private Private Amir will come pick it up. If you, you can put a nice box and it's a gift, so. All right. All right. We'll do. She saw one of the other bathhouse girls wearing it, and she was very eager to have one for herself. <laughs> I'm sure she was. <laughs> Thank you very much. You have a good day, sir. This this does count for for, for Miss Marin, I hope, and not yes, not it does you. count for Miss Marin. She does pay me for my work as okay. well. All right, just doing my best. Thank mm -hmm. you for your assistance. Of course. around this area and then when I scrounge up enough money I go get some water like a big like a big cup hello thanks thanks for taking care of that for me I appreciate it. uh how long would a oh. simple garment take to craft oh that's really take 
So, be ready by tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. mm, how are you doing this? I'm doing quite well. I had a weird dream about wolves mm -hmm. in the forest, but that's about it. Clearly didn't play as a wolf as an NPC earlier. <clears throat> I had a weird dream. I was in the arena the other night. It's pretty, pretty cool, but it's not something I want to be in. You know, them being slaves and all. But if they were to open up like a separate like arena thing where people didn't have to. Like, be slaves to fight? That'd be kind of cool, but... Not like to death or anything. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Just like... People to train together. If any yeah, yeah. Were available, like sparring, the training. Cut cutters, please? Yeah. Uh, the mm, people who work at the nice. stall in town. Thank you. By the way, Pharaoh. Huh? Your, your, your monk outfit is complete, by the way. Oh! I'll go get that right now. Jim, it's in the same spot as all the other deliveries. All right. Still have yet to set up the camera. I'll set up the camera. Oh. No one saw that. I opened a locked door. <clears throat> anyway, I'll go ahead and set up my camera now. Before I forget. Kind of like part the hair, move the hair the other direction, basically. Yep, hello, trekking. Trekking? Leg? Did all my audio just kind of like... Huh? There we go. Just a minute. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, do you know where uh, Miss Marin is? Uh, outside training at the moment. What can I do for you? Ah. Uh. I was uh I was looking for uh, her to make a uh, very odd order, but uh I could take the order for her. Perhaps I could come back later. Oh. Good morning, Miss Marn. I was just looking to uh make an uh, order. I was wondering if you could give me a uh, a price on something like this. A bit uh odd. What were you looking to have crafted? Um, I'm looking for a uh, piece of cloth, good to uh, use as a, like a flag for a ship. Mm. Awesome. 
think about it real much. Hmm. And if possible, um, it made with a material that's easy to uh, paint on as well. Is that possible? It was months ago. I met Sable when he first had came through. No, this was yesterday. <laughs> this was yesterday your boat was stolen. Oh, you're Sorry, I need to do some calculations. Uh, and it would cost uh, for for silver twenty, I believe. Hmm. All right. It would require four built up costs. So it would take two days. Two days. Um, are you able to make the uh, the material, like I said, easy to be painted? And, and could you make it solid black as well? <clears throat> oh, yeah. All right. I think, I think that's, that's doable. Would you like the uh, coin now or when it's done? I know certain places are different. Uh, ways of doing business. Wouldn't mind a front payment. All right. Uh, could you hold this for me for a second? Mm -hmm. For silver. For silver, twenty copper. Thank you. And like you said, well, paint it all black, and then it'd be hmm. easy to be painted. Yes. Okay. So, I'll Thank be you. done in two days. Okay. Thank you very much, Miss Mar. Always oh, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Is that a guide you? Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, me. Hmm? Yeah, the, the monk attire looks really great on you. <laughs> Different wearing, not wearing heels anymore, but I could get used to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think you look wonderful. <laughs> oh, oh, if you'd excuse me, um, I just thought I could use the washroom. The urge. <laughs> um, let's see. Grab your samples. Samples of the finest wine here in Notice. Can I stop dying for like two I seconds? Know. Good afternoon, do. Matthias. Still hope you, you'll do well. New haircut? Um, not, well, more just like pushed my hair over to the other side a bit. Do you know you them? look lovely, Pharaoh? Pharaoh. Are they currently employed? Uh, bathhouse, bathhouse bath house worker, pink dress, and I work for Miss Marin at the seamstress Working shop. Working with Marin. Oh, um, fair point. Not, not a good idea. Uh, nope, nope. 
What? Yeah, no. We're gonna shovel sand. We're not gonna have you dig in sand. Oh, I mean, I don't mind. I... <laughs> 20 copper? 25. 25? Make the call, Tang, make the call. I don't mind. Would you like to shovel sand? If you need the help, I will... I can offer. My god, what a character. Great. Make sure you have your bow. Then follow me. We're going by the riverside. <laughs> yeah. Hopper will meet us. He's grabbing his bow. Uh, oh, do I need a Missing weapon? Uh, if anything happens, I will just tell you to run. Uh, I, I, do have can... a, I do have a spear back at the shop that I can grab. Might as well. Alright, I'll be right back. Might as well. Be quick. With everything, with everything going on in the woods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine is fine, east of notice. I'm not too busy. I thought I would swing by, come by the embassy and preach. Uh, you want me to arrest a rat? Yes, because I, I pay for that cheese and he just <laughs> ran off with it. Arrest a rat. <clears throat> Steve-o, can you hop down? Probably not um, a good idea. Don't ask. Yeah, no. All right, let's get moving. Uh, I'm. Am I gonna come down in a minute? I have a chance to make some more money at the bathhouse. I'll come check as soon as I'm done there. Yeah, sure, no problem. Sorry, it's in the We're going to be working for yeah. 10, 15 minutes. So. Oh. Right, okay. okay. If, if I'm done, if able I'm to get it done by then, then, at the very least, get a couple of shovels in. A, you are a chunky oh, doggo. I love you. Oh. 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 Not sure. Why not? Let's go. Right. Walk and talk. Walk and talk. <laughs> well, walk and talk, I say, as I'm starting to run. <laughs> Keep. You said yep. you were busy. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind helping out. Ron, hop down. If there was like 20 of me, we would fill in all the holes in the Gladia. <laughs> when I'm filling in holes, we're collecting sand. There's a distinct I difference. Could, if there was 30 of me, we could dig a tunnel all the way to, I don't know, where would you like to go? If you, if there was 20 of you, you could dig a hole all the way to Vernfalder. You can just say that, because the dwarves live underground inside of the mountaintop. <laughs> hmm. Really? Because I swear, if we, if I dig straight down, I would make it to the other side, which happens to have people involving terracotta statues. The fuck? I don't know, I heard that word one time. I don't know what terracotta means. It's a type of clay. Oh. How do you know that? I've lived underground for the better part of three decades. That must suck. Okay. So. We're gonna be working under the bridge. Okay. There's a small bed of sand at the bottom of the river. We shovel it, 
and put it into barrels. I'm going to go grab a couple of spare grain barrels from the mill. I'll be right back. All right. We'll be right here. If, uh -huh. if you... Well, if you want to start getting it into workable piles so that it doesn't wash down the riverbed. I got you. Just help him making sure that everything is actually situated. I'm gonna get the barrels and I'll be right back. Oh, right. Let me just start here. Oh, hang on. Let me do this. So it doesn't slide back down into the water, potentially. Hmm. But... Grasses, I haven't really been out of the city like this before. Well, even as far, even this far, still pretty dangerous. Is it mainly because of the uh, orcs and goblins and such like that that we always hear about? Yeah. Also, mercenaries butting their heads out here. Keep that in mind. Hmm. Downside is, if they see the weapons, they may assume stuff, so just keep that in mind. Alright. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, made a little bit of a cascade so it doesn't roll down back into the water. Oh, That's the main point of it. We'll see if I can't loosen a lot of it up and move it closer towards the actual shoreline. If you want to help Matthias move it into the barrels, I'll um. move it up closer to you so that you don't have to breathe underwater. We yeah, only have on one down. shovel. Oh. I got you. There you go. Right. Don't need a light. What? Fortunately, the sand is thick enough where you can pick it up. Hmm. The water mixed with it, you can use your hands to scoop some up, place them in the barrel. What Tang's doing could help. Right. Go ahead. I'll take what you will see him bring here. up a rather decent chunk. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> materials, but this is more or less fine. Right? Every day with the Warforged intricacies amaze me. I'm surprised you're not rusting under there. Not iron. I am made of treated metal. It's a metal mm. that has treats. Treats? <laughs> no. Come on, humor me. I'm. <laughs> If we didn't need this sand so much, I would be turning it to glass. What do we need the sand for? The wall. Oh. Right. Long story short, it will help the walls stay together. The big hole behind the shop. Yeah, fully built. Yeah. Alright. 
How we doing? Um, let's see. We got over there. I've been feeling half, this motherfucker. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that should be about halfway filled, I would think. We're aiming for at least a barrel and a half, and if Hopper gets here, we're able to get up a little bit more than that. But Hopper's got Hopper smaller hands. Lost. Well, well we really two depends because there's a lot of digging noises happening right beneath the breeze. <laughs> No. My hands many, are not sandproof. How many, uh, how many units is equal for per barrel? I would say one barrel is equivalent to 20 units. Okay, so 40 units. That's two silver. Twenty units times five is one hundred. I, I I know. However, when it comes to stuff like this, I believe that you and I would be the only quote unquote skilled labor. With Hopper and our lovely bathhouse worker here being unskilled labor giving five units. So far. I hear him as Torty. <laughs> troll, troll sound, troll sound. <laughs> No, don't you fucking dare. <laughs> you know what? That's the last you. god. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I don't know. They can ask the fact that I've been shoveling for years. It, it, it's air called. I'll give them. Oh. I think they're in the middle of something right now. Is another god available? Well, I see a floating ghost. <laughs> don't, don't fucking mind him. You're, no, you don't no, mind he's me. not here. He's not here. <laughs> you are. You try, you try to be very slick with I that, miss, didn't I you? I miss him every day! <laughs> He tried to be slick. Don't, also, don't give him credit. No, really quickly, out of character. Yes. You asked, "Where's man? Where's Hopper?" Man. I I just went to him. He ain't coming. Mm -hmm. oh, I know what he's doing. Oh, wait, yeah, he's got I... customers already. No, I know what he's doing at the bathhouse. I know what he's doing at the bathhouse. He's not young. Okay, so, no. <laughs> Fully serious though. No man. Yeah. What's up? When when you talked with Kimchi, did you get the lowdown on if me and Matthias were skilled labor regarding digging? I would assume yes for me and Matthias, because years of shoveling, years of mining. You know, strangely enough, years of experience doesn't mean you're trained labor. It's weird. Um, yep. So that's what I figured. You'll you'll figure out when you get back, and then uh, if he's there. I'm weird. I, I just saw that uh, hmm. Kimchi was inside of a voice chat with a whole bunch of people. So, likely yeah. a different module was happening. We're at the bathhouse. They're doing, they're doing stuff. Don't worry about it. They're shucking. Okay. They're not well, shucking. We're going to keep digging for another couple of <laughs> ten minutes. Are you actually digging curious up, what uh, Hopper is uh, doing? Digging it. <laughs> oh. No. It's either where he's inside I'll make of the, these I'll make the meanwhile edit. I'll make the meanwhile edit when y'all are done. <laughs> yeah. It's either these it's either these barrels will be filled with twenty-five to thirty units of sand. This is Schrodinger's sand, <laughs> Tang. It's either or until it's observed. <laughs> we'll figure it out when we meanwhile. actually get there. <laughs> you say the meanwhile, I am picturing like Rock and Bullwinkle. <sighs> you don't actually want to know what they're doing, so with Tang underwater. You know, like... <laughs> Just in case we need to actually do something to make sure that we know how much sand this is. One. Two. Stones. Don't. Three. Don't. <laughs> yeah, count it by pinches. Grains of sand. Four. How many grains of sand are in this river, Tang? 
All right, oh, one, dead, that helmet two, is. three. That does count as anti armor. It is a shovel. I'm aware. I've been hit by one before. This, this shovel has been passed down in my family said. for generations. How many hogs have <laughs> First, you have to go get a hogshead. We're not, we're not doing this. Of course it's the three we're of us. We're not doing this. Well, of course it's the three of us who can't stay in character together in one place. Hey. Who we're said we're not in ghost. character? Oh. Exactly. You're, Tang. you're one to talk about. <laughs> Or, or sorry, gyrate whatever vocal cord is in your neck. Look, sometimes. Look, Thin metallic like strands that simulate the amount of sound that usually comes out of a vocal cord. Big words, yes. Just know that the moment Tang hears voices in his head is the day we shall run away. <gasps> that's when he turns oh, red, I right? Do that. No, that's just when he's mad. What about purple? I've never seen him turn purple. What? I don't oh, turn no every color under the rainbow. I've seen you be blue, orange, possibly yellow. I and actually red. I don't even know what the other ones do. I've just seen you mad. <laughs> hey, sir. Yeah, frankly, no the time neither do I. <sighs> okay. I need a moment. Uh, my back's hurting. Sorry. Mm. Just go ahead and rest, and you should be fine. I'm able to at least get some handful of wood. Don't fall. Hey, I embedded those into the greater sand. They should not be falling over. Trying to make sure the sand gets down into all the crevices. You just tap the sides. Ooh, I I'm using like my thinking brain. Nope. nope. Well, that works too. I'm a sand shaker. <laughs> you, you, you'd work great at that. One house. side, miss. One side, miss. <laughs> Try to Seven, count how many lines eight, it goes up to in the middle. Nine, door. ten, eleven, twelve. Well, there are twelve thousand grains of sand inside of this barrel. Eight thousand more to go. <laughs> no, wait, hold on. I feel like you have to count each and every one of them and you win a prize. Fifteen thousand. Five thousand more to go. Okay. All right, more units. There are, Get my shovel. there are 15 trillion sand particles in this desert. We have 15,000 in here. Don't don't give me that. Do I need to keep? Do so, I need to keep so you're saying? No, I'm gonna give you that. So you're saying oh, there's the, still? Let's top off the barrels. So you're still saying there's right. 12 trillion. Nine hundred ninety-nine billion, nine hundred ninety-nine million, nine hundred and seventy-five thousand grains of sand left back in the river still. No, not just in the river. I'm talking about the entirety of Gradia. Find a book. I already did. And it's not the bestseller. No, not a lot of people can read. Mm. Yeah, fair. You'd be surprised how many people actually cannot read. Uh, yeah, I can understand that. I was one of them. Let me guess. You learned from Ladia. I'm currently she learning was the from only Ladia. Ladia. Mr. Mr. Markle Wonder. taught me how to write, at least. 
All right, I think we topped it off. <laughs> now we did. What I'm doing out here? What, what do you mean? Okay, we're good on that end. We're good on this one. Excuse me. Alright, now for the lids. And that's the other one? Here's the other one. Alright. Now for the tricky bit. I know. How am I going to get do? these barrels up <sighs> that, that ridge? You lift one up to me and I climb up. Why don't you just go this way? Hole. There's Wait, no what? ridge. What? If you go that oh, way. You're... <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're, you're shitty. Well, <laughs> apparently the shortest point between two areas is not a straight line. <laughs> Just don't what? fall. Troll sound. Hello? Troll sound. Troll sound. <laughs> you. Oh boy. I don't know if those are scared torty noises or just looking for me noises. Around here, back here. Other side. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Oop. Oh, hey, what? hi, hi. Get out of um, the bushes? I, I, yes, okay. get out of the bushes. Why? You have so much stuff. Oh, that's my house. Okay, hi. There are people murdered on a uh, road, and there's a lot of stuff laying on the ground, and uh, I don't know. Hey, there's, there's two people on uh, next to a car, and uh, I'm worried about it getting looted. So I'm going to run back and get the guard that is expecting <laughs> that shipment. Um, But... You know. You think these are safe here? So you yeah. want? I don't think anyone's strong enough to carry however heavy those barrels are. Uh, no. I'll store these in again. the bushes. All right. Yeah. And I'll take care of the cart until you get the guards, and you should do so quickly because. Move. Yeah. Go. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go get the guards and stuff. So yeah. See you. Go direction. with her. Uh, all right. Go with her. Yeah, that direction. God damn, she's fast for a drow. <clears throat> So, um, I'm covered in blood because, uh, the guys are bloody in the middle of the road and, uh, the other loot is in, on the ground and stuff. I sent Tang to go look at it. Uh, but what? there's dead people. What? And there's stuff! There's stuff! Okay. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna let you handle okay. that, Benton. So, you gotta, you gotta go. what did you find? There. The cart is smashed into the wall. There's a spear in the guy. The other guy has next slit. All the stuff is all over ground. Did you find anything on them? 
that could oh, indicate a note. what? Yeah, here. Here's a note. Uh, I can't read it. Lordship oh, isn't much. We're talking about sending. Yeah. <clears throat> Toronto? Huh. Ah. Ah. Okay. Let's talk to Markle about this. He's been handling a lot of the good transportation between. Surely, no. What do we do about the bodies and the stuffs right now? Should we grab some people to grab it? We'll send some guards to go handle it. Oh. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. About... We'll get this done. We'll send some guards to clean it up. Okay. Okay. That sounds easy. Cool. I should probably go clean up then, huh? Yeah, he's our most well-trained guard dog. And. I see. Stefano. Oh, done. Oh. Good work, Lucas. Stefano, the shipment oh. of leather that was supposed to come here for us has been ransacked on the road to Cassetto. Send some men to go clean it up. We need to. Hey, there's a note there about. Corona, we need to talk to Marco about. What you gotta do, now, hey. You need anything from me or just a report? Were there people still around? Just. Uh, there was nobody no. around, just two dead bodies and a spear. How'd you get covered in so, blood? Oh. I uh, picked up some of the stuff to try to move it and got covered. Because, like, I oh, shifted hell. some of the stuff as. Look. Why did you. This is coming in from Corsetto, you said. I guess part what? of the reason yeah. I referred to it as loot instead of, you know, their goods. No, it but... is. It's... <sighs> This is my fucking on the. That sounds. It sounds like I, you, you're the one that caused it. I <laughs> forgot the word for yeah, merchandise, okay? <laughs> I just forgot the word. So, Simpson, man, I gotta go oh, talk oh. to Marco. You're gonna come with me. Yep. Okay. Do you wanna quickly clean yourself? Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, grab the bucket of water from my store. Make way. Uh oh. Oh, uh, there's oh. Lord coming. Yeah. Oh, I just stand over here, yeah. other yeah. side. <clears throat> there you are. Where were you? Yeah. Hi. Oh. Uh, another job had come up that paid more. Mm. That needed me uh, Hopper. right away. Hopper. Did you guys finish Quick. the pie? Can you grab the bucket what? of soapy water uh, from my shop? Here's my key. Very quickly, please. Uh, sure, as soon as all these dignitaries That's pass right. by. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Default to me, I should have. I should have time all the time. Huh? <laughs> Where did she? I'm right here. I'm I waiting for time. Hopper to get me uh, my bucket of soapy water. I mean, if you're with, okay, I was gonna say if you're with a guard, it should yeah. be fine. But... Thank you. <laughs> did you take anything from it? Yeah. I was going to move the, what I thought was leathers, but then they were hides, and then I was like, oh, this looks horrible, so then, no, I didn't take anything. I'm sure the blood <laughs> was a very good indicator it was a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, it was. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. thank okay. you. Okay. <sighs> I'm assuming Let's go. you guys came back from there yeah. already? Yeah, we got Let's the go barrels of sand, and then yeah. Torty okay, showed up at the bridge I, uh, screaming about... Stuff. You're sending the guards, right? Because, like, uh, Tang, I told ah, you. So, okay. Tang and Matthias are still over there right now. 
already gone? Are they working or are they checking on the um, bloody stuff? They're checking out the bloody stuff and the barrels are hidden in some bushes by the bridge. Uh, okay. I'm just not going to get myself involved in that, I don't think. Now that the guards are involved. Probably better that way. No. That'd be fucking hilarious. Tang is... No, I don't think that would be a good idea. Please arrest Tang. Don't arrest Tang, or else you're gonna still have a hole in the wall. Please arrest Tang, I wanna see it. Listen, Tang's gonna have a shitload of sand with him, I think he's got himself covered. If looking for business, I am in the middle of something right now. No, no, later on, uh, I'm gonna pick up that leather armor set. Okay, sounds good. Oh, there's the guy. Uh, well. Hello, hello, pardon. Yep. Yes. Uh, sneak him over here. Snazzy colors, gents. Later on, Miss Lottie said to get with you. I'm gonna speak you. to a certain we someone. Thank colors. you. Minus red. I'm aware. I can get okay. you as soon as I'm free. Mm. Okay. Well, I gotta go to Miss Sarah because she needed me. But, all right. Thank y'all. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Let's talk to yeah. Mark all about this crime okay. business. Yeah. One minute nothing's happening for the guards, the next minute everything's happening for them. Right. Guess I'll just head back to the shop then. Which is how it happens. Evo, it's me again. Can you hop down? Look, apparently it's <clears throat> the, the best guard dog that they have. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Oh, I guess we're not it's right. It's a gray area. The war is over, but it's it's not wrong. But it's not right either. These damn visors. I see. The furnace. Good afternoon, Mr. Soma. Good afternoon. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> I got uh, hired to assist Tang with collecting sand by the bridge heading towards Cassetto. And then a uh, Torty showed up covered in blood for some reason, so I'm sure they're getting that handled. <clears throat> Oh, right, uh, Torty, it wasn't her blood. She wasn't injured at all. It was blood uh, on a uh, cart that was being delivered from Cassetto. From there to here. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, how, are, how are things for you? Like I said, just fine. <clears throat> um, So I got 20 copper from somebody for... The um, simple garment, uh, ten for the measurements, and then did I get that right? No, it's actually measurements are ten. The simple garment is thirty, so they paid fifteen initially. So it's twenty-five copper. Right? Am I on? Or am I looking at an old sheet? <laughs> Sorry, you're. You're, you're asking about like like what's the cost? The it was a simple garment that they ordered, that was just like um lingerie set, that like a bathhouse girl would normally wear, for this guard's wife. A lingerie set. And I figured that would just be simple. That's it. Just it sounded like a simple oh. design. Oh, I suppose. <clears throat> well, if it's like top and bottom is so simple, the top would be like two silver. <laughs> oh, I, I don't have that then, because my I look at a sheet and it says 30 copper for a simple garment. So this sheet is wrong. So I need the uh, I need the current merchandise sheet. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. I made us lose I money. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, please send it. I'm confused. <clears throat> I need to buy more hair ties. Yes, what you need. Drop to Embassy 3. Okay. Okay, hello. Can I get you as the mercenary guild liaison? Alrighty, I'll be over there shortly. Oh, and send. Just head in there. Because mm. Nikki's not here, so. Okay. Alright, there, alright, so. You just gave me a whole different thing. What am I supposed Basically, to do? Basically, <laughs> when I give them the uh, when I give them the okay, <clears throat> um, Faye and Sarah are gonna be coming in and saying um, they're looking for Professor Shulbrook, and you'll be like, "Yeah, no, apparently he's on his way." So, hmm. and then he'll walk in. Are you sure you want me? Cause. You know, I've I've stated that Aerolith has been wanting to talk to Professor Shilbrook, so if that's a case... I mean, if that's what you've been saying, <clears throat> then maybe that's why he's on his way down. Okay, I don't know, because I haven't heard anything about that. Although, what were you gonna- what were you trying to say to him? Because, I mean, he probably wouldn't- So, I put him. it in as an NPC tie-in that Aerolith was wanting to apologize for- to Professor Shilbrook for her outburst back in Nith Mamalorian. <laughs> Okay, so then he'll be coming down for a different reason, but you can do that while he's there. Okay. All right. Although you'll, you won't mention Nith Memalorian because remember that's supposed to. Yeah, be I'm going to just apologize for outburst last time we met, basically. Not. Sure. That All works. Right. All right. Let me, when they walk in, that'll be. What's going on? Let me make sure Bruns is available. One sec. Okay. I will go take care of something, because I'm getting dragged by the gods above. It's Asara. Asara's calling to me, finally. <laughs> <clears throat> Gosh, I feel short. Am I in the floor? I am in the floor. Why am I in the floor? Oh, what do I not like? <clears throat> I'm just gonna tell you can go in and then hopefully I'll get Bruns in a second. <clears throat> man, goddamn whippersnapper. Look at this man. Look at this, look at this poor man. You just say Sardo's not in, but I don't know. I remember you. Oh. I don't come in here often. What? Oh, you don't remember me or you remember, remember... me? No, I remember you. You were the one that helped me with the Venom Sack uh, order. That was several months ago. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't been in here since then. Oh. Actually, I probably shouldn't visit Sardo. He knows me quite well. I haven't we need some do some catching up to mm. do. If only he was around. How can I help you? Uh, I dropped off a, a letter to be sent here uh, to try and get a professor uh, Shilbrook from the Institute to come by sometime. I need to visit with him. Mm. Yeah, he should be in shortly. If you want to wait here or outside, uh, I'll let him know your way. Oh, uh, let her, let her, let her. Uh, 
Yes, Professor Sherbrooke sent a response via us. He should be coming in. You can wait around if you would like, outside or in the okay. guild, wherever you please. Okay, we can uh, go over there. About or would you like to have them five to ten minutes or... till they arrive. Mm. Thanks. Uh, I was kind of curious. Private. Uh, do you have anywhere? Sh like, think... I could uh, let you anyone? into I'm the sure office. Shellbrook will know. Mm. That mm. works. Can we Probably wait there? We will be. Yeah, I can. Mm. I can vouch for it. I'm the one on charge here. I don't know where Kaya is. <clears throat> Time to steal everything in the office. Um. <laughs> do I need to pat you down Rolling. when you're leaving? <laughs> Nope. Not like I have pockets big enough to fit anything. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Kimchi. Well, what's up? Because at least I'm here, I can Tang just dropped off uh, some barrels and three bulk <clears throat> popped them. Okay. Um, How much should I hand out? Is there anything All that you 25 copper for unskilled. Him that you would like me to be able oh, for each, so... Just I'm assuming there's five here. units in each of them. I trust you with everything. Okay. Uh, so about a silver total. <laughs> Well, oh, there's three, three uh, barrels. I had, um, or if there's well, four people. Him and three workers. Oh, well, then, yeah, okay. Then, so, yeah, 25 copper each. Just drop off 25 copper at Marin's shop. That's why, I, <laughs> that's why I'm even more so willing to want to yeah, talk with only can do it. Professor Sherbrooke, <laughs> because he might be the only one that can help. They uncovered some information when they went back through Ledford. It seems Lord Falgrith had a hidden chamber of sorts down below. Some kind of lab. Of course, fucking did. Silken garment. And I have the writings that he took down. He. Even though with Mirandel's little bit of his <laughs> rantings and uh, <clears throat> normal, uh, how do you say it? His Mirandel always has a fondness to over exaggerate things. Um, it's a at least for his condemnation and stuff. What did he say it was? He says he doesn't uh, know. I mean, he, he has to. He just came to you with a gem and said, I don't know if it's common or uncommon. You were here, this is a good opportunity for you to learn some shit. Did he, what information was given other than it's a gem? It's a gem, that's all I got of it. And that he bought it from uh, Even out of, out of character, does he know? No. I, I can check again with him, but... Well, it was the key. Let me, let me come to him one second. There is, I don't think, like we've come to find out with, uh, With Lord Fulbright, that he isn't as bad as we thought he was. It seemed like through some of the notes here, Arlen cut off all trade and travel with the three neighboring kingdoms of Astagon, Gwyn, and Leodor about a year before the initial invasion of the Trinity of Liberty. A precautionary measure and action in preventing future aggression from the east. But it was notated by Fulbright that this was a mistake. But the current king wouldn't hear nothing of it. But Arlen had a foreign policy in place, a brutal one that may limit the visitation and visitors, nobility, and emissaries of Ishmael the Loss. Though we did accept dealings and meetings, they will be heavily controlled through the crown itself. They are listed as dangerous, far more of a threat south than the east, quote unquote dated two years ago of Mirandel's writings of two more years ago would be because when he was in the I know that's Stevo. Um, why is Bring why is Stevo one have thing he persisted on is that the room had eight chairs, eight meeting chairs at this table. If the first notes of the large antechamber chamber he wrote down, he said, Though I have retrieved all that I can, this is written in Falkir's words. I warned Alice about the treachery afoot, 
but in an infinity of wisdom and eternal kindness, my duties of spy master wane. I'm not exactly upset by this, but I am certain it will come back in the future to ensure. Yeah, if Shinfo's tracking it, then it's gotta be through him. At first, I, I had no idea what Jen's talking about. Was <laughs> one of the I mean, but Jen was not tracked by Shinfo. Uh, it's mostly, like, the work that he was done by all of them. Uh, the price for the work that he was done by all of them. I was quite wrong. Some of those who live here are far more aware than what do you, what is he, what is he using? Though I tried to steer them he off the course without intervention range. of a more yeah, forceful like sort. Okay. I mean, you can make a ring out of any gem. I mm. can this bring is out Wayne right for I I respect I think King we don't need you because this was 20 he episodes ago. You probably don't remember the soft. exact type of gem he sold, Harry. And Jesus Christ. If I know the number... In the I, can I, I mean, it, it's fine. I'm just gonna check. Universe. He's checking mm -hmm. his sheet now, now, so you don't have to worry about it. And afraid okay. to do what is Thank necessary you, has been perplexing in the matters, not anyway. He is convinced. He was convinced far too late. Despite the beliefs of Thessalor, I had the Scarberry watch day and night. The spy Dominic was identified by Sergeant Dillon, and at first had every reason to believe it was so-called blacksmith but soon was proven false, and I had Dominic corner, cornered. Most of his missives were intercepted except one, the one he sent back with his, to his family, the Yalman of Elray. While they soon met there, and once I caught on, word had already gotten back to the east, and at this point there was nothing more to be done. Then have him killed, but once more, Aelith stayed in my hand. We knew this would happen eventually, he said. Foolish and self-centered. Though I respect Aelith, he left, let his age and uh, his finality of his own lifespan affect his judgment. However, I have learned over the many years there is always a way, always an option. The common peasantry that resides outside Ledford have become <clears throat> anything but common. With, and in this table with these eight chairs, with all warnings I could have given, I knew what was to become of the Eastern Kingdoms, and I warned Aelus often with a grown concern. I told him that the Theosians have grown far too powerful too quickly, that something wasn't right, the curious nature of it all had gotten a better of me, and soon, bit by bit, my ears and ears within a Theosian lands were pressured, discovered, murdered. Someone knew I was watching, or so I must assume. But who? Even so, with the crumbling bulwark of the state it was in, I fear that no longer a way to keep the repercussions of the past from gaining momentum. With this in mind, I have to carefully consider where my pieces will be moved. You don't know we were having, uh, With the fall of Ireland, and the sword sheath will seek A recent addition to the guild, uh, Mr. Morian uh, Stonefist, With I the believe? lack of this Etla and the barriers that the natural world provides, <laughs> I can only assume they will be freed in March once more. You're doing okay. I'm doing as well as anyone would do working in this place, yes. Everything put into place to prevent this shattered by someone. Someone is aware of this great game being played, and they seek to enter themselves, seek to gain something. Until I know this, I am unable to counter them, unable to strike out at them. With the fall of the East You've need deliveries, assuming. Ireland being allowed to fall into recession by the acts of that I'm aware land, of. I Am I missing something? Plan for a radical attempt to halt this retribution. Uh, I must irritate this. I'm a guy. Uh... In oh. is in danger. <laughs> That's why. No, I don't have anything <laughs> that needs to be delivered. Elysium should have taught uh. the world that. But <laughs> All right, got those who remember <laughs> shroud it. I can only assume, regardless, the air must be extracted, or in the very least, <sighs> hidden away. I think I know what they seek. I think at least they what they desire. And I need two correct, volunteers Gavis with material characters. Though the meetings with the others have proven less fruitful, and volunteer. more and more seats are empty. One thing is clear: even the full might of Paladin, magic was thrown behind Arlen in Paladin secret. The nobles cannot be trusted. 
Even now, Lord Godfrey conspires to get his kings back, planning to seize power at his death. Such noble accusations, a weak son, someone no one would follow, but he himself is better suited for the conflict to come. Even if he is right on all accounts, now is not the time. And if I allow it to take place, Ireland will certainly not survive the coming war. To be, to think scrolls of treason were coming and going out of this keep under the very noses while he stayed here. <sighs> I think the <clears throat> radical thing he spoke of is what we did in Ireland when we created it's a green death. I have a snack. I, that I have a snack somewhere. I, have some, I think I have some grapes that I got at the vineyard in my lunch bag. It's clearly under the desk where it belongs. I don't know Oops. what it is. It has something to do with the Ozians. Not give, necessarily people give. here. It's something in oh, the Inquisition. Some something driving them. Oh. Yes. To kill Dryas. Give. To kill everything that held them back. <laughs> <clears throat> and also, it makes me consider Eshmith for loss <laughs> even more. Why would they pull all the Guardians, even the oldest ones? Hello, Matthias. Because they can create, hey. because they could create such powerful barriers. I have a shovel. Eshma, while the rest of the world around them burned, because I own a shovel. Intact, what? To where <sighs> All the right. world decimates itself, they could reap the rewards. Is what I see it as. Meaning, let let everybody kill themselves and let them take what's theirs or what they think is theirs. But I think Fulgrith is trying to stop it. Trying to do something else. Trying to halt whatever's trying to cause this conflict. Trying to cause whatever's going on. I'm not too sure. All I can do is assume. That's All right, full plate control. armor. What the hell is going on? There's not really anybody else. I just feel like being in my armor right now. Other than ah. what little fragments I can find of Etla. So I have to have a contract in the evening. We'll at least yeah, be ready for Roderick it. Is All right. In the middle of something, but he will be here as soon as he's available. Okay, that's we're having a good discussion anyway. Well, just yeah. Let um, me know. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, do you want to hear what they found in the artifact room? So, there's a third note in the room he dictates. He said the object remain. He said he put special notations here. He said the object remain. Reminded Raylan of the green glow that destroyed her people. Her vision she had from that stone of the Triton King's hatred, Mirandel. And then he said, also have a copy of this arcane language and symbolism that was protected the artifact, rather kept it secured. I'm not sure. Enclosed is a find a copy of the artifact and the arcane writings that were built upon around it with these four uh, statues looming over. That's all right. Right this way. Welcome to the guild. In a most unwise manner, <clears throat> for now, this particular manifestation will stay secure. Until as, a, as you it. walk by, you can see a bloody it. bandage on her I torso and a very bloody... I was that fucking wolf, you know. <clears throat> my thoughts and theories <laughs> on how this all came to be. Beliefs on what caused it all in the first place. But until they are in my I'm hands, it is unlikely that I will <laughs> have substance, <laughs> have proof. You want, you may with the, fine, with that, the refinement you of such magics, it is entirely possible Could that with strong thing? ties, well, Hello. in the very Hello. least, on the front, ones with on the front birthright of the letter, grants um, some sort of connection that even I was unaware of. Um, kind of I like laminate over being well, unable to examine this front. item as well. But Very for artistic. now, it will be forced to await my reconcile, reconciliation until I am able to conceal the air within the capital. Different members of the arcane <sighs> have made <sighs> their marks. Even within the past, footprints and trails point. have been left behind that must either be destroyed or retrieved. It is thin line walk. And as much as my very soul screams out for me to do it myself, I cannot leave Gavis' side for now. 
not after such a bold attack, even so within my quarters. The, uh, the, the stakes of like this grand game has risen, even the and now, more than ever, I must seek out whatever it is they know effect. that I do not. As you the go, outcome otherwise hands, would be dubious like at best, uh, however I am certain like that they would not rest at the control of, of the forest at the you con have rest stopped. at the control or so rebirth, reading, and it's been but frankly attempt to sway okay, the winds themselves. Okay, so Morgarath is well, the eternal tombstone to all of Azura. Oh, to this, <coughs> and the oh, items like sloppy, ones in particular <coughs> are memories of such things, ruins, <coughs> afterthoughts, <coughs> anger, <coughs> rage, power, sadness, <coughs> joy. I don't Even want some I chips. am unable to tell beer, how such imprints are left Those on things would, that like would have uh, been uh, mundane, uh, unless <coughs> there is a purpose to these Our items higher small, than just grasping just at the inner minded. Despite the damning side effects, in time, I will pursue pursue this Maybe. item and those similar. For now, here with the the destruction of the buffer why we the and the concealment why we of the truth takes precedence. And although we are not of your tribe, or wherever you hail from, we have seen your exploits. I remember the guardian outside of Adwood told me that he could not peer into the castle because there was a powerful barrier over it. He could not see what was in there. I think that was the ancient one, Lord Fogwood. I think it was him protecting Gavis at that time. From what, I don't know. I know Mirandel said in his notes that he got attached back in Ledford down below. I'm just never made aware of this. But he made notes that someone tried to attack him that there were dead bodies and he felt magic around everywhere so he felt it was Fulbert doing that someone was trying to kill or take Gavis away. I don't know what's special about him. But I'll tell you now, Seraphith, keep him completely in the dark, even for Lisa. I've been looking for him. Either Either Falgrith or the Gavis, I need to find them. I need to keep them we safe. For They're a key to something, I don't know what. I don't know, like you said, I don't know what's up with the drow. I don't know what they're searching for. Yes, I don't know goes, about um, their uh, goals. Uh, on my I know they they've always been kept down below. And to me, they were a buffer of sorts of from the things of the dark. It's just like I heard uh, when I came back from um, the town we visit, we ran into Yurza. She spoke of that the winters are getting colder, that the actual ice giants are coming down from the north, causing disruption among their, their uh, clans. It's like the world's coming in on us. Happening in the underdark too. There was a creature. They look. That uh, was they looked scared because they had to come. They had to come to the road to meet me. Um, and uh, they seem like normal forest it. fellows. Do you know them? I use a bow and then convince them to let me try and talk to it. They try to talk to me first. I see. Well, me there is help. a packy that came with. As I went to it. It told me that uh, it was forced out of the underdark by an small invader, rock. an invader from below. If you wish, uh, something that just penetrates in the darkness. It was a creature, so it didn't make a lot of sense. But opening the small box, you see inside so a quickly, it's very well made wooden carving. It would destroy a us. Like it came from below. Alright, or have another bag of chips for later. And some cookies. Destroying mm -mm. So it ran. Well, no, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 you, Older uh, things that people you thought were dead and long gone begin to move again. And old allies and enemies uh, and seek their kin. So 
Very well. That was a nice little Seems thing you, you can do. Hello? It's a little weird. <laughs> Why is it weird? <laughs> yeah. I know people might think <laughs> <laughs> in the wood elf, <laughs> even in the elven world, is near okay. lunacy, but... It's a little weird, don't you think? I still it's, believe it is that we're all needed. We do not that appreciate. we are stronger together than we are apart. <laughs> of course, I do. It's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> if you think about it more, us, whether it's nature, whether it's to drown from, the darkness, from what, from what everything is there for a purpose. They're the whole back certain things read, to keep certain things in check. And now that Blood is gone, half of her dryads and, and yeah. guardians yeah. are yeah. dead. Either taken and used by the Empire right, or so taken to Ishma, so the natural yeah. barriers of nature something are waning and gone. The drow doing whatever is happening in the Underdark is driving them dill after those explosions. The rat men. Go humble servant. May I do anything else for you today? Better. Alright, so we are done with this session. Now the Ozzy. Please find here that you have received it. Now the Ozean is trying to get a foothold here in Guardian. Yeah, it's probably getting... You have wonderful <laughs> home as well. They're just too prideful to me. Living here yeah. for the 200 years, you have to learn something. Even their own people. <laughs> well, I know from... Shall we? Back to the door. When my <laughs> mother tried to see far <laughs> out, because... Her being connected yeah, with the wood was far better than the land. But yes, if you need uh, any uh, anything sense, she just knew that the Imperium were fighting something to the north Ooh. and to the far I'm east, sure. or holding Thank things at bay with their legions. But what? <clears throat> <clears throat> Probably their own little version of what's been fucking up everything down in the Underdark and the mountains and the ocean. Down in Myth, there was a giant. Uh, you don't have to wait here. Um, it bronze is gonna take a hot minute, so. Oh, you saw. Oh, I'm good. The most big eyes. No sense. Ay yo. Ah. Actually, off the list. I have to refresh it to the top. Yes, sir. Hey, Rune Knight, I told you the wrong price. <laughs> That's fine. How much is it? I, well, the thing is, so I was looking at a sheet that was like shared in yep. the Discord. That said, like, oh, this is like That's it's a lot cheaper right than one. it's not the right one. I literally talked to Flonica about it, and I was like, so what's the actual price for this? And I'm like, oh, she's got a big list. <laughs> she sent me. Yeah, so each, each of the each of the professions have their own I'm specific guessing, list of things. Well, since you said it was it's like be you said it was too. you said Lacey. it was Lacey, Lacey undergarments. undergarments, so it'd technically yep. be silken garment. Shirt, pants, etc. style, and so the whole yeah. thing it, would be five silver. <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay, I actually would have to get approval for that. Yeah, because it's three. It's three list. silver for the expected material ex expense, and then the expected sell is five okay. silver. Well, I did provide the die up front. I hopefully that lowers it. Yes, sell. that <laughs> should lower it. So. The dye would definitely help because I'm I'm sure we'd be lo running low on like red dye and such like that. So, I mean, it four, can, I could use it four no, fifty. How, how I'd say I'd say ask how much the dye is and just try to take that off the top. I have to seek permission from a DM. Mm -hmm. Take it for the rest of that. I will um pester Marin about it. Can my tracking like? Oh, I can't wait Man, for my why new is my, my one replacement tracker to come back. Going fucking nuts! I don't know. I why. need my replacement tracker soon. My one leg is just like I don't Dang. want to cooperate with you. First, how much does dye cost? Like, the the dye that was provided by that guard. 
Mm. I was trying to correct the uh, amount of money that was supposed to be given. Uh, I don't exactly know how much diet costs, to be honest. Uh, okay. So, because I'm saying it's silken garment as like an elaborate silk clothing of that sort, yes. It'd be a five silver total. I'm wondering, oh, since he provided fun, part man. of the material of that three silver. Are you, are you talking about... Yes. Um, an order that was made today? The one that... Yes, the one that I took. <laughs> and what was the question again? I'm sorry. I was wondering if, like, this would take any amount of, like, copper or silver out of the expected material cost. Hmm. If he provides his own dye. He provides dye. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe we can knock off like. I was thinking like, uh, 50 copper. Copper or something. Fifty copper. Fifty copper. It's, it's right. a dye I mean, because dye would be a bit expensive. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We can take away fifty. So it end up being four fifty instead. Four fifty. <laughs> Sounds good. <clears throat> Wait, is it silk? We don't. We we silk? really don't have a lot of silk, to be honest. Oh, uh, okay then. Okay, fancy fancy embroidered. Oh, no, because it well it needs to be. It's elaborate, spicy clothing. That's oh, basically what it I is. See. So it's going off your. I wasn't gonna say simple. It, you can either say simple clothing or the fancy embroidered shirt, etc. Yeah, okay. Like, sometimes we just have to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm going off of your sheet, yeah. so I'll say <laughs> it's the. F so, well, 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 if you have something like for the bathhouse workers, what would you normally classify that as? Hmm, um, that's a good question. I think, unless, personally, unless specified it, I think I would probably just make it out of cloth. Um, but if, if, cloth, right. you know, it, it really depends on the discretion of the person making it. So, like, if simple, you think it's, uh, simple shirt, simple shirt or pants, yeah, basically, would be the best way to put it. Oh, uh, could be. be, or... Oh, it's, it's so nice of him to clean off the streets, isn't it? Alright. And it's very sweet of him. So just make it completely out of cloth and just be like... So... Two silver. Two silver, <laughs> knock down 50, a silver 50. A silver 50, okay. Alright, I will let Le Rune Knight know when I next see him. What to do with the rest of my day? That's a question. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, how often do you take trips up to the uh, temple that's in Gradia? Mm. Very, very rarely, actually. Mm. Uh, because it's quite a, a travel. And mm. I have to adequately prepare for it. Oh. Hello. Oh, I, I can come I'm back. Not coming. No, come on. No, 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 it's fine. She works here, so. Um, mm -hmm. I was gonna ask if you need anything. Mm. That's a good question. Oh, wait, never mind. I don't. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm <laughs> 
you know, as I do. I think the urge is getting to her again. What if I do? I'll, um, I'll come seek you out and then make some business. Okay. Can have a ridiculous amount of fight. <laughs> I see. How much am I ready to have? Um. Well. Uh. Sixty-nine. Hello. How can I help you, sir? Yes, sir. I was told this is the shop by Tulux clothing. Yes, it's the weaver shop. Yes. Oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, what if I bought it? It's fine. <laughs> um. I have a small retinue that just came into town. Uh, we'll be here for a bit, most likely. But, um... Maybe, maybe I'll hold off on it. I will probably have been around an order. Uh, you know, most of us are in heavy plate, as you can see. So, you might be getting some lighter wear for the gradient weather. So, just some simple clothing to wear? Or are you looking to get, like, a dress made? I'm sorry. I'll come back with you. <laughs> Just it's, simple clothing. Like, oh, that's okay. Mm, you took a loan? Simple me? clothing? That would be uh, two silver total. I, he was about to like kill so many. Vizier and I took yes, it. There is seven of us. Currently. Yes, oh, there's oh, so God. seven of you? Sorry. Okay. That are gonna I be guess. needing these outfits? Alright. So. Ooh. Fourteen silver. It's okay, it's okay, though. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, and we will have them... Uh, Marin, quick question. How many days for seven simple clothing? Both bottom and tops. Okay, simple clothing. Oh, maybe... Maybe it take two days. It'll be about two days for them to be ready. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Miss Baron. Thank you. This is. Need some help. You can always let me know. Alright. Yeah, seven tops and bottoms, simple clothing for that, uh, Before believe a mercenary, time. so 14 silver. Right? Good day to you as well. 14 silver, yeah. Alright. I had 14. I paid all of it up front. <clears throat> oh, okay. Wow, oh, today's been great. <laughs> I'm so yeah, after, after getting. Oh. Yeah, you can finally keep yourself out of debt. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Put mm -hmm. that coin towards other things like the soup kitchen and more stock. Yeah, that's true. Actually, the funny thing is that we have to... We have to, like, catch up with them. Three. Right away. Oh, you want me to go get them right now? It seems to be some number crunching.
yes, we can always rely on the person keeping track of things for us. The great Opirus. <laughs> yeah, Opirus is a lifesaver. But, uh, I appreciate your help as well, too. Thank you. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like the first time I'm actually considering taking a merchant type role. Serious. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> if you sign up for the meeting between Sarkozy and Ladia, drop down to Drasker module now, please. Oh, I'm gonna go and talk to Harry now. Alright. Thanks for uh, follow along. It's like I normally do. Good afternoon, Miss Sunny. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Kabam. Good afternoon. Everybody's gonna fight to get that. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get audience. <laughs> No, Harry is. Hey, <laughs> what? How much? How much button do you have? I can get twenty units. <laughs> well, sir, uh, how long? I do I have to wait for the next twenty? Next, I need forty. It's gonna be. I could get 40. Well, yeah, if you could. No, I can get rid of 40. Alright, uh, I will tell the workers to grab 40. Thanks, Harry. Mm -hmm. Of course. Oh. For 40? 3 silver, 90 copper. I don't want to be an asshole, but if you're going to have a conversation, I don't suggest you do it in the middle of the gateway. Azang. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's business transactions. Yeah, but oh, I yeah, hear I everything from the echo of the gateway right now. <laughs> oh, nah, hey, why I'm going to build it. Coming and they get ran over. No, it's not. You want to build an anechoic chamber right there? <laughs> well, that uh, yeah, pretty much make a chicken hut right there so the chicken <laughs> echoes through that the entire time. Anyways. Crack? Alright. Thanks, Harry. Of course. Hello, we were just talking about my money issues when, right as we were speaking, somebody ordered seven entire. My definite ten workers bring me forty cotton. <laughs> oh, something funny? No, <laughs> nothing is funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> I swear, if I see Akka in there and yeah, you'll yeah, counter yeah. as one of your Ak workers. <laughs> what? Oh, there was a time when Akka was running through one of your fields after a lesson with Miss Ladia. Oh, gods. 
I, I hope people realize that if you run through a field and you don't know how to properly traverse it, you can actually smash things. I'm sure they'll agree with that. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Thank you very much for the... for the cotton. Um... Thanks, Harry. 20 units a Thank bag. You. <clears throat> Thank you. Thanks, Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Of course. Oh, oh, my Harry. Thank you, Mr. Harry. Have a good day, you mm. two. Oh, you know, as, as we walk, um, how have things been for you? Works work. If that answers your question. <laughs> I'm pretty much I have to run the farm without it being actually my farm. But you you no longer on the farm. No, I am. I just I technically don't own it. But I like to come back. Work it as if I own it. There you go. Where you were? I should be there. Thanks. Thanks a lot, dude. Thank you. <clears throat> A shipment of leather I could set up. Oh. They're saying, hey, if you can go there and just send them along, we'll give you four leather to get started on your order. Great. It's we don't want us to right. go because obviously Cassetto kind of hates not a start. You have the you have the lock above the handle. I just go in the middle of the handle. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Dad. That was Good a prop. She got me, but <clears throat> the the dark urge calls. God, start it. <laughs> What is it? What is it? She needs to stop drinking that, uh... Gotta find it. Ornfalder? Wundfalder needs to stop drinking that mountain Wundfalder. Uh, 
well, they were correct. It is indeed quite the small town. Hmm. But it is quite... Oh. Greetings. Good afternoon. Actually, would this happen to be a seamstress? Yes, it is. Well, I guess not a seamstress, a tailor's, rather. Mm, the weaver. Seamstress, tailor. Weaver, yes, that's the word. May I step inside? Mm, no, yes. only to peruse. Oh, that's perfectly fine, ma'am. Bald. Oh my. Bald. <laughs> oh, beautiful. With high quality fabrics, no less. Would you happen to be the seamstress of this fine establishment? Uh, I'm the apprentice to the one who uh, owns the place, yes. Yes, you. Yeah. Well, I happen to be uh, passing through this small little town, though I've had such a wonderful time meeting its residents and locals, I think I might stay for a few more days. My business elsewhere is not urgent, you see, and I do enjoy travel. Hmm. All right. Well, <clears throat> I was just exploring for a bit before settling down and having another meal. But I must say, I've already grown quite fond of this place. So much excitement, unlike Eshmat the Loss, where I hail from. <sighs> oh? Speaking of which, it already begins to grow late. So, I believe I best be on my way, young lady. All right. You have a good A pleasure have making a good your acquaintance. Mm -hmm. May I have your name? Uh, my name is Feyril. Feyril. A beautiful name for a beautiful lady. <laughs> I am Dominur. Hmm. Nice to meet you, Mr. Dominur. <laughs> hmm. Pleasure is all mine. Have a wonderful evening. You as well. Oh, what a wonderful town. Bald. <laughs> the first thing I latch on to now. <laughs> hey, the only person that can be bald and make it look good is Gerbaum. No one else is allowed to be bald. The fuck is going on over there? If you are part of the kidnapping module, please drop what the scrim scram module. <laughs> Why is it? It's it's moving. Did they all move? <gasps> they all move. What is going on? <sighs> what? what is going on? What is that? What is the phantom? Whatever that is? What is it supposed to? <laughs> up and down and up and down and up. Wait. I am not in my chair. So confused. <sighs> All right. So, weaving in cloth. No. So you get a bolt of cloth from four cotton, four wool, or eight fibers. Okay, a bolt of silk from four raw silk. Two raw giant spider silk equals a bolt of giant spider silk. 
and you need for spider might use a spider I'd be over down here you would need three for a tunic two for a head <clears throat> wow, you need two for... Do you need two or three for everything? So in total, if you want to get full spider silk, you get... You would need nine bolts of giant spider silk. Interesting. Professor Shilbrook is off on an adventure. Or getting ready to go on an adventure. Again, if you are part of the kidnapping module, please drop the scrim scram module. God, I'm busy. Hmm. I was gonna put my pole up today. And I went to go get everything ready. It was like fucking eight in the oh, morning God. or something like that. I'm glad I noticed. Got everything ready to got my pole out, got the base. This for is it. adorable. Was, like, making outfit. it work and shit. That's like all that. I'm gonna say. Good. Turns yeah. out I'm missing That's one Pharaoh's screw to make outfit. a whole fucking thing she got it So oh, punchable. No. Home Depot run. Yep. Oh no, boy, it's like I a specific like I can't wait to see the Inquisition. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, let's go through the, the middle of it. You mean the institutions okay, yeah. are not yeah, Inquisition. Yeah, it's the bottom base and goes yeah, down, end. and it like connects down to the bottom, so oh, it allows cool. the bottom to spin with the top. Ah, I know it. Okay. <laughs> it's got to be in your house somewhere. Somewhere hiding from you. Well, the thing is, I moved like a couple months back, and so I think it's just gone. Gotcha. Oh, big sad, dude. Big old sad. Ow. 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 And the reflects look better if you turn it on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on let reflect? me see where my oh, volunteers no. are. A lot of them are still busy. What are you looking for? Uh, just some NPCs, which is fine. I would. I don't know. Actually, it kind of looks bad when you look in the third person. It looks. It doesn't look good, probably because you're in the spawn mm. box. It might look better when you're out That's in the true. actual world. Spawn box has funky lighting. All right, I'm gonna go, go back ahead. to sitting in the mercenary go guild, ahead. ready for the Professor Shilbrook to show up. It's me. Which Over I think here. he's now returning. Uh, how did you enjoy Is it with the kidnapping? Out? Correct. Um, no. Okay. Aerolith has been sitting in. for kidnapping. Aerolith has been sitting in the uh, guild building. After letting, after putting Faye and Sarah Fifth into the office. I understand. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't mountain me. Don't mountain me. That no. I understand. Ugh. I get very stick. I get very stickler when stuff gets near my eyes. Uh, I'm understood. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Didn't know. I I I that that's like... how it that's how it should be. If you didn't, if you do something and <laughs> the repercussions of it, and it's like, oh, you didn't know. That's it. All right, we move on. <laughs> anyway. Oh no, it's <laughs> Professor Shilbrook. I better run. <laughs> Oh god, oh no, oh god. It's the man. Not my oh, shit, oh fuck. Not my trauma. Kobe. Kobe. Alright. Let's go. Yeah. Yep. I, well, I mean, if you want to, I'm I just need to find out how much. I didn't take your chair. You should have taken my chair. No, you're always standing. You never sit down. Oh no, I usually take that. 
Oh, well, you take that shit I've been there. sipping a lot today. Hmm. Yeah, that's that. It's usually the one I take. Oh. The Sardo usually, you know, likes this one. And I just need to find out how much it is and what she wants me to do with it first. I've got my butt divot just right okay. over there. <laughs> Your butt divot is in that chair. Hmm. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta work how, in a good How big good of a divot butt divot is it? Oh, that's pretty wild at this point. I know Sanders used to sit in it a lot, so and his butt is is I think bigger than mine. Sanders used to sit yeah. there. What? What? I'm tired of living in Notus and the work that yeah. I'm Why? Doing. No, never, never. He, he, he used to be in here all the time. Why? I don't know. That was that was between him and Sardo. Mm. Oh. I've only seen him come in here like once or twice since I've started working here. Very interesting. Sardo told me you'd be here all the time. Make that makes no sense, but sure. For what's to come. <laughs> Having so, land with um, someone that my assumption it was a, some imperial business that they business. wanted to be around. I don't know. So, okay, so that means I would need to tell my... Yeah, after I find out what her details and who would be coming on on and off of it, because I know Kyler said... We have a new uh, elf that didn't list for today. The like. Uh, who? So I don't know... Fine. It would just um, be it was... My goodness, I'm bad at names. I'll have to find the name first. So the red hair had a bow, went on a wolf from the wolf. job. Oh. Moon something was his last name. I have no clue. Mm. She's helping me clean herbs. And oh, it's good that at least we're getting mercenaries to join. Now the question is if we can get enough contracts to have everyone get paid. Ah, uh, I mean, uh, that Ma Marco fellow had one. And Marco, we've already just had some, a group. Mm. <laughs> Under the, uh, what was it, the Earnhardt's? Earnhardt's? Mm. I always screw up their pronunciation, but... Mm, that's good. Well, and then we have some of the no more odd jobs, but... Yeah. My heart still can beat, but he... yeah. That's all we're basically getting is lots of odd jobs. What's his name? Money is money at this point. I'm just hoping there's enough for all of our uh, what oh, is this word? idle handed oh. mercenaries. Oh, <laughs> Professor. I received your missive. Uh, yes. What did you need? I, I have a Miss Faye and a Miss Sarah to see you. They are in the office. I can show you there. I can find my own work. All right. Both of you can come inside, shut the door behind you, and not worry about watching the rest of the guild. This is a sight that I haven't seen in a couple years. What, guards? No, elemental guard. Uh, they were with Master Gelix when we were below Adwick. Well, the ele elemental mm. guard are a warforged fighting force, untouchable by magic and other means. I'm going to go off and ripping any living things. Let me know if you need anything. Mm. All right. Gilek said they were quite advanced, far, far better than ten. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, Professor Shilbrook. Um, Am I free to speak candidly with you, sir? I was the one who received the missive to come here. Mm. I would assume you have something of import to say that's not a waste of my time. My real name is Faye Farah. I was an acquaintance of Gelix and Lord Falmouth back in Arlen. Yes, well, they have many acquaintances. I'm sorry, it does not ring a bell, so you could not have been all that of an important meeting. What is your point? 
My point is, <coughs> is that I have been down to yeah. Yes, a number of people have been down to the family, including my mercenaries. Mm. What about I see. Please skip the build up. There are things I need to do. I want to see if there is any wood elven in nature left down there from what I've already myself have recovered that belong to my people. If it is if it is warranted too dangerous, like I know Mashagilix told me that y'all keep things in check or locked away to keep it safe. If y'all find anything that you deem necessarily to be locked away, I understand. But I'm trying to recover things of my past so that I know what to do going forward for my own self and my people, because Master Gelix seemed to have high hopes for me and not lingering in the past and walking forward to the future with my own tribe and not being like the other ones that just yes, stay well, in the woods. Yes, well, Master Gilek has die. never once mentioned you to myself, so I have no idea who you are from a hole in the wall. The entirety mm. of Nithmar Malorian is under the jurisdiction of the Institute. The mercenaries <laughs> down there are to collect things for the Institute, and no one but the Institute. I am the one that sent the missive to Master Gilek about Nith to begin with, months ago with Kate Chilbrook. see. Because the missive we received, or at least the one I was told about, was from Adasco Beaumain at the behest of Cade Shilbrook. Aye. My other one was a private sealed one to go directly to the Master himself, because I didn't know well, who in the guess Institute it went to, to trust. the Master, didn't it? Because I know nothing Aye. about it. And nothing about you. <clears throat> Is there a point to this meeting? Yes, there is a point. I want what belongs to my people that y'all might recover from down there, or at least be privy of it, so that way I can tell or do what I must to keep it safe, to make sure I do not say things that I shouldn't be said, because Master Gelix is no longer around. He was <laughs> someone that was guiding me. None, I'm asking. And there is no point of this conversation. You have no experience, you have no authority, you have no way to protect that which you want to have in your hands. Why would I ever divert anything from the Institute to some, or whatever you are? Well then, to speak plainly, then what would I need to convince you? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> the Institute isn't just some sort of faction you stumble and walk into and they accept anyone who walks inside of them. The minds of the oh, Institute are bred for the work that they do. They are the greatest that there are. We are entrusted with these items and we lock them away for good for study and to keep them out of the hands of those who would claim that they have any claim to anything because of their people or the shape of their ears or the color of their hair, whatever it is. You are owed nothing. And yet, Gelix saw fit to take an artifact from the Institute to use it to create a barrier of sorts against the Empire. A barrier. <laughs> yes, the Green Death. Perhaps you are not nearly as informed as you think you are, because I am the one who supplied that artifact to Gay Chilbrook. So either well, you are lying to my face, or you're nowhere near yeah. as informed as you think you are. I'm just Both repeating what Mr. Gelix said. I don't see anything. Gelix always said that there was a way that you gain entry or gain the eyes upon the Institute. <sighs> Trust me, Mr. Silverbrook, I don't, I don't want to hinder what you're doing in Nith. I think what you're doing down in Nith is a good thing. From what I've a seen there ago, the LT. Your hardliner approach fell flat on its face. You're backtracking that. <laughs> you stood up on the other side of the table and demanded that what was owed to your people was returned to them. 
to which I said just a no. Just a copy. A copy of any history. Not the artifacts themselves, just a copy of the history. Do so you that understand I may not make what could insane. happen? If the information that was down at Nith Mandalorian found its way into the current factions of the world at this very moment. Oh, I am well aware. Then why would I put them in the hands of some no-name elf living in the woods? So you're saying I need to contact Master Givix himself? I'm saying that I will give you nothing unless I am told by higher authority to give you anything. Okay. Then I will contact Master Givix then. I'm sure you will. And also, you say these things, but I already know quite much, and I've kept quite much from my people. I've dealt with the potion seller several times, which is from the Institute. And of course, he has his own specialties in mind as well. Who? I'm not... He didn't give us his name, but he's from the Institute. Another person. The potion seller. <laughs> I'm sure he is. Are there any other people I should know about that you will invoke their names or lack thereof? <laughs> to try and gain entry to privy information. Can I get a wisdom roll, Bronze, if there is any way to <laughs> coin his interest? Carol, D20. Nice. 18. A whisper of steel. Oh my gosh. What is what is her problem? I was like, ah, oh, threatening tactics don't work. You're looking at a man with two armed guards. I think he's got enough bullshit on his plate. <laughs> that he actually walks around town with two armed knights. Elemental knights or whatever you call them. He is beyond bullshittable. Even I found that out. Nerdy 20. Oh boy, 18 plus 2. Again, the urge? You're right. You don't know me. I guess my manners should have been before anything. <clears throat> you want to untrust, correct? That is a matter of whatever your prerogative is. I'm not going to trust you after I've just met you. So I suppose you can consider that question answered. Well, Cain has known me for a long time, and so has Tam. Both have known and been there with me through thick and thin. I have kept your son alive all these years because of the potions and the healing tinctures that have <clears throat> provided him. Because <sighs> of the and he's been you are the wood elf very helpful. woman that served the dryad. Uh, I am, sir. going to be going down to some more dangerous, correct, which is now. You care a lot for your son. I promise you, I will offer him the strongest potion that I can make that will save his life. It's called a life bloom potion. It will save him from death, guaranteed. I will place that in his care and his care alone. So that no matter what, he will survive down there, and he is protected. It is something that is very hard to make. It is creation of a life bloom that only dryads can make. One that 
he would start highly uh because he yes, could I save aware, life and heaven. Yes, please. All the fluff, I can't imagine. Yeah, I, I can see that this would be a great boon. Because I'd be willing to trade every single one of those people going down there to ensure my son's safety. You have my attention. If you allow me to provide him whatever he needs in healing tinctures, especially the life wound potion, directly to him, on what you <clears throat> request of me, I will do so. I just ask in return if he's successful, if this bears fruit, that after you look over things, the things you deem safe, for me to view, I would like to look over with them. Even if it's I'm in sure the presence of another. I'm sure we can discuss what you might be able to view <coughs> once it has reached the surface. But I will have to see this potion first myself to verify the authenticity. I know very well on my person. what the potion looks like. <laughs> She will produce it for me. <laughs> you are Professor. This has been made without a dryad. I've been studying very hard. Because studying very hard. Any person can study for as long as they wish. They're not going to make a life bloom potion. It requires a dryad. The only way it doesn't is if the life is sourced from somewhere else. Dare I ask where it was sourced from? I need a wisdom roll on that one. Cheryl D20. Oh! <laughs> that is a one plus two. You're not sure what to say. It comes from oneself. <laughs> Obviously, that's where comes from. Yes, a flower that I imbue with wild magic over time. It takes me a couple of days to do so. It's a very strenuous process that I've been trying to perfect. I will have more questions in the future, but I suppose this will be good enough for now. Hopefully, the boy isn't stupid enough to try and give it to someone else. You have your bargaining chip, Faith Farrow. We shall discuss when things are retrieved what you may view. That's all I ask, sir. <laughs> and what of your companion has been silenced this entire time? It's actually quite on topic. Your son. The first time you went to Nith, we went to Nith. He lost the weapon he was using. Now, as anyone else would, especially a swordsman, he found a replacement. Unfortunately, the sword is not just steel or iron. Mm, things are also getting funny. I don't know if he's been truthful with you yet. I have warned him twice over that he must tell you before he goes back down. But there is something magical about it. It has been distracting him, even during his mm. work 
as a mercenary. He talks to it. And dare I say it talks back. He wanders yes, the fields kind of all person. alone. He wanders the fields all alone. Mumbling to himself. Now he's never been the wiser of me spying on him in the many years that I've known him. <coughs> I've always watched his back. But this time he was able to. <laughs> now that was weird. Maybe a coincidence. Maybe he saw my hair glinting in the sun. And then he brings me into his home. Shows me that this sword is able of is able to give him the ability to heighten his own senses. I heard the whirring of magic in my ears. I watched it glow. Runes I did not recognize. I wonder if Sun has an artifact, and he probably shouldn't have it if he works for the frickin' Institute. Me being connected to wild magic, I usually can read all Of course, I don't hear any of this, because it's behind closed doors. I'm just here to listen, and I need to talk to, um... ...is because he plans to bring this weapon back down to myth, and I do not think he's going to tell you about it. Well, if it gets him killed, then perhaps you'll understand he should have listened to his father. <laughs> is there anything more poignant? He wanted to speak to me about. No, that was all. <clears throat> Arcane cocaine. You, you came here to speak to me about my son's strange addiction to an artifact. Yes. I came to tell a father that his son is in danger. He's always <gasps> going to be in danger. He works for the Institute. Yeah, true. Well, this time he's being very stupid about it, and there is a very easy way to handle this right in front of him. A way to discover what it is. Trying to figure out what I want to say. A way to harness it. In the right time to way. shove the anxiety down the down the hole for a second, so I can now, get sorry, my words out I, and speak. I do not. <laughs> I don't believe you when you say <clears> that. <throat> oh, he'll die and learn his lesson. I don't believe you. You're right, he probably wouldn't learn his lesson. You can take the potion, Venora. Or Faith Farrow, whatever pseudonym you go under now. <laughs> As for my son, I've warned him time and again to listen to me. He does not. He chose instead to run away from home. He wanted to live the life of a cell sword, be an adventurer, even. He has missed out on every opportunity he could possibly have. Or whenever I've I tried to encourage him to take the right path or to return home and take his studies or join the Institute in full, he could be living upon an estate with his own expeditionary team and delving into these different ruins all over Ozera tomorrow if he would stop playing mercenary. But instead... marries some imperial commoner who disappears on him after his marriage. He wanders away for so long that his little brother is encouraged to flee home as well. We have no idea where he's gone. Meanwhile, the pride and joy of the family, his older brother was investigating the very ruins that he was supposed to and was killed by the Green Death. So all I have left is Cade Shilton. And he doesn't listen to me no matter what I say. He will either learn, or I will have no sons left, I suppose. But for lack of me trying, his departure is what killed his mother anyway. Is there anything else that before I return to my work? <coughs> Maybe some other time. Thank you. You know how to contact me. You and me both. Thank you for at least talking to me. <sighs> Just give where you stick your nose, Faye Farrah. Not everyone's as understanding as agents of the Institute. I know, that's what I was trying to learn from Master Felix. 
I will, sir. Thank you for the advice. I appreciate it, nonetheless. <laughs> oh, do I need to give that potion? Go ahead and give it to your son. Or will he come you seek should. me out? Okay, I will give it to him then, sir. What do you want from me? As a heads up, uh, Drazker is waiting for you as Ar for you to be Arn. Oh, fucking God. Okay. Damn, I wanted to talk to the professor. Huh, <laughs> <laughs> have fun. Well, there goes that idea. There goes that. Oh, God. What the fuck? <laughs> I missed my chance. I really wanted to talk to the professor, and I was like, no. I'll be well, again. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well, I'll just go back to messing around just with Marin. <sighs> what am I doing? <laughs> I had a fun chat with some of the guardsmen. Apparently one of them's like an oh, old okay. shock trooper that one of them's an old shock trooper that had to come out of retirement because of the war going on. Oh really? Why do you have oh, a spear? Yeah, and him. Spear? Shock trooper. He's borrowing oh, it. Oh, uh, I borrowed it. Okay. Oop. Need it in case orcs just show up. So. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. No, that's not going to stick to your back. <laughs> yeah, that's open wide. Fortunately not. Place it, place it between not the even thighs and charge at the enemy. <laughs> it doesn't actually stick to the body. Away! hi -yo! <laughs> My new horse! <laughs> uh. We put a horse head on this, yeah. like a fake one, and then Speaking... use the spear as a unicorn horn. A what I horn? Think it horse, it would be nice. What the unicorn yeah, horn. What's a unicorn? Uh, I have a mythical creature called a unicorn. Have you not read fairy tale books and stuff? No, I was a slave. I... Well, I'm a <laughs> slave now, and I've read those books, but point being. It's essentially it like horse. those books are easy. No, that doesn't that count because you're a slave a now. You were probably not a slave before. Or well, are you still a slave? Mm -hmm. yeah. No comment. I think that's enough proof. Point being, it's just a horse with a horn that comes out of its head. And it has magical abilities. Oh, like the, uh, Make the horses that the Imperial, the Imperial horses, they have armor that has that on their Yeah, they heads. got armored ones. Might be symbolizing that or something. I'm not too sure, but because it's Imperials, I doubt. They're not very fond of anything that's not normal. Yeah. Hang on, I think I have something. I'll be right back. <sighs> yeah. How's your day going? Uh, quite fine. Helped uh, Tang and Matthias with the sand. And lots of orders at the uh, weaver shop. So we're quite busy. I see. Um, and apparently things are going on with Mr. Wainwright that I should probably check on. <clears throat> um. Oh, did you, uh, get the things delivered? Yeah, I just, just 
Speed. Speed. Delivery. Oh, okay. Good. Good. You have Tiberius carrying them. All right. That's interesting. Ah, there it is. is the most evasive man in the whole not is even if he is a slave of the people. Oh, evasive, I just have bad days. Excuse us? <laughs> Prone to getting sick quite a lot inside of the pits. Only to sleep up there, so. Oh, God, please, yes. Well, Alright, if you want to name it, same name I'm as really bad at names. Huh? No. You I'm pretty much a name of horse. I what don't do know. I'm Marco? bad at names. <laughs> oh. I mean, think of something. Hello? I mean, look at the horse. Maybe you can come up with a name if you look at the can horse. Can I help you? It's okay. me, That's Pharaoh. Well, oh, mostly curiosities. Sorry. Okay. Cool. <sighs> Sounds good. Different outfit. Yeah. Oh, how are you? I'm doing quite well. Good. Flirting? Mm. Yes. Have you all seen Mr. Lots. Oh, he just went back. Oh, well, you're covered in blood. Uh, he just went back to do. He was earlier. Paperwork. Understood. Thank you. Hmm. There's a bathhouse over there if you need to clean yourself up. Party break time. I'll be back. Have fun going, Shishi. Why is it every time I cross my legs, one of my feet always falls asleep? Blood circulation? <sighs> if you shake your head, the tingles get worse. <laughs> no, that's not that bad. Hi, Hopper. Gonna, did you, you get know, the new put, axe put your... today? I did not get to my place. You need okay. wax? Um, yeah, you got wax. Premium. Premium wax. Let's see what I got. I just need normal wax. <laughs> Premium high grade wax. <laughs> I don't think I have any. Okay. Oh, I have two. <sighs> you have two. How much are you charging per? Uh, hold on. Let me just one more thing. Uh, how much do you usually charge, Hopper? Charges be 10 per usually. Oh, that's what I was going to charge. Oh, okay, cool. Hopper, your head's in the table. I didn't. <clears throat> don't mind. 20. Don't mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Throw it through your window or whatever. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, not having the, the hives at the vineyard kind of sucks now. Yeah. Hmm? What happened to the hives at the vineyard? I took them out of there because I was getting taxed to death. Mm. So where do you have them now? Sarkozy at some point. I left them You there. know, we need we need to do like a whole free enterprise thing in Nottis, because like the taxes here are getting ridiculous, right? You can tax for like a couple hives in the vineyard. Yeah. I'm like they come around like every few weeks and ask for taxes, like ten silver. Come on. Who's the kidding? Did Arn oh, come so, back eh. yet, or is he still at that other town? Uh, uh yes, they did. Uh, they did come back. Dredge was here. Dredge and Aegon were here yesterday. Yeah, no, but Arn was separate from them, so I don't know if Arn came back afterwards. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh wait, you're talking about probably? like yesterday when he came back? Yeah. Oh, the, oh yeah, was I do. Yesterday? I think oh, yes. Okay. I remember yeah. seeing. Yeah, he came back yesterday. Uh, cool. I'm Lord Earhart. So I can get my belly button piercing. What? <laughs> I made him make me a belly button piercing so I can get my belly button pierced. Because I want that. No. <laughs> what? A noble and an armor smith. Oh, you're Mom. not Scrungle. Yeah. You, you look you like Scrungle. Yep. 
I did. To be fair, he's the and only black trumpet to have. Exactly. There's lots Wait, of would white you cats. Me his lordling son, or what? I don't know why white cat would be common. I feel like there's like here. another thing that could do so another classification of job that could do something like that. Yeah. Taking her like what? Wildcraft or something? Yeah. Um, Theoretically, she could if she had the um the silver put in a certain way, but he could just do it too. So you know. Meow. Right. <sighs> you giddy. All right. Well, I'm gonna go bother him. See you. All right. Good luck. Oh my God, that smile. So now I need to ask: Do you, is there is there a cost for uh, taking measurements, or no? Oh, there's no, no cost. Okay, it's only it's only in, no it's included with the um, actual price of the everything. Okay. <laughs> Better not be seeing any rats around. I think you would rather the cat be eating the rats, not seeing them. I don't think a cat getting exactly. romantically involved with rats would be bad. I'm coming, Miss I, oh, I, I, I didn't say you that. Said I said I better not be seeing... seeing any rats around. Oh, I thought you were telling the cat not to be seeing rats. <laughs> I misheard. Oh, my brain actually. Good thing you've got me to protect you. I don't know what I would do without you. Like this. Twelve. I couldn't. Twelve what? Silver. Is that what you need? Okay. Yeah. Solid black. They have two days. Yeah. Oh, fine. For what? Uh, one's a do. <laughs> two days. You just said two days. Like, like at the end of the day, like in two days, or like, you know, beginning of the day in two yes, days? Yes, because I had four days to do it, and then. Two days is the fourth day. Why do you need the silver? Let me know. Uh, and and uh, after the two day, after the, on the second day, whatever, the last day, let me know. Yeah, I should be a little for it. Should be fine. Uh, pay off what's owing on the house so we can actually own a home, have a place oh, to stay that's not a okay. case. Nice. <clears throat> It'll be fine. So you're not going to be living in the bathhouse also, anymore? Also, found out that Lorelai used to live at the house. Oh, really? Nope. But lend you money just as you did for me. Then I spent it on me. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. He's the second person to offer the pay if I need like a little bit more to secure it. I'll be fine. I'll be able to make 12 silver in two days. Yeah, that will be an issue. Yeah, apparently Lorelai and her family used to live there like a decade plus ago before they left. Like, God, they leave town and they end up like, with like, like a stuff. murder drug death. It's called sitting on your bed. Basically, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Mar Marin, Marin doesn't know how to sit properly, I guess. Gonna go for a walk. Enjoy your walk. Like, imagine just not being able to just, like... <laughs> I mean, I mean, I could do that, but my track, my, uh, my, uh, hip doesn't want to work. So I just kind of, like, sit slash lay here. <laughs> yeah, I put my, my hip is on my side for this reason. Uh, I don't have one. <laughs> it's not the greatest tracking in the world? I don't have one at the moment. My, oh. my, my chest tracker, uh, killed itself. <laughs> It committed Sudoku. Oh, no. I should get a replacement. I should Relatable, get the replacement though. one sometime this week. That's good. <clears throat> Which is bad, because now my left thigh tracker is on the fritz. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> oh, my. How many trackers? Uh, I got slime VR. So, technically five. Okay, nice. Um... Aaron, you feeling okay there, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, talking wow. about hips, I think somebody's wow. hip just went. Spider jujitsu. 
Uh, yeah, I was looking at the uh, the uh, cost for her spider silk stuff. Oh no. It's quite expensive. <laughs> Are you doing frog stance while sitting down on your floor? <laughs> Maybe you should stand up to fix yourself. <laughs> Marin, please! You're scaring away- You're sc scaring away the tavern goers! <laughs> yeah, see, this is why I don't sit on the floor. It's too far away. It's only more yeah. I pick it up or down. So you're like- You're like two- Two feet six inches tall? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. In another, in another life, I'm like six feet and five inches, so the floor is a long way away. Ah, yeah, in another life, I'm six foot three. Yeah, so you understand. Yeah, but that if I if I end up being very small, I, all the gremlin energy just comes out from somewhere. Nah, nah, see? You, should, you gotta be very small, very late at night, so that way you're just tired. No, if ever I have gremlin energy, I I have the sudden urge to commit lots of war crimes. Oh, I have those urges. I just don't act on them. I definitely try to act on them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've only thought about Geneva Convention. the government twice today. Uh, sorry, sorry, Geneva uh, Convention. A noble more like three Geneva or four times. suggestion. Um, and talk about burning you down a person's place of business once. Oh. So, doing good, pretty good today. Mustard? What about mustard gas? Exactly. <laughs> so I love the Geneva checklist. Yes, I have. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Come, my child soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> P.O.W.? No, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, God. True Canadian. <laughs> Chuckles, my favorite, uh, Gradian entertainer. Just punching a piece of wood. Training. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm stopping short, you know, so I don't break my hand. Yeah, she's stopping no, a, an inch that's before that's so that smart. she can practice one-inch punches later. Well, <laughs> all about getting into position, then you practice the actual one-inch punch. Dang. Yeah. <clears throat> So laying down this table is a mistake. Why? Because it's made out of wood? I don't want to get up now. <laughs> no, because I'm made out of tired. You know what? I'll just do that. I'll just, I'll sit and like lean back a bit and then just listen to people talk and then I'll suddenly fall asleep. Yeah, <clears throat> been there, done that. Number of times well, I will take a nap and really forget for... I've taken a nap. Yeah. I'll lay in Tordy's shop, just listening to like customers coming in and just pass out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a very good jump, Sarah. You fucking like pole vault that right over the edge, right into the sit. Yup. Your thighs are hella strong. I mean, they do have thick thighs. Better. True. Thunder thighs. Thunder drow thighs. Drow thighs designed for sneaking around in the darkest of places. Good to see you. He's trying to sneak around, but the clap of her ass keeps losing. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, have any of you seen Tang? 
Um, not since this nope, afternoon. Not for a while. Uh, Damn it. A few minutes ago, he was with Matthias and Thong and some pretty lady and that we who? thought were killing goblins. Uh, what's his name? Vakir. <laughs> the guy who wears a thong. Did they look like they went to that house or anywhere? Uh, oh, they where do you think they went? Uh, okay. They were standing like at the edge, like um, of the. I did the see them head tavern, towards like, right the blacksmith, there. but they probably left to go do something because they were talking about a mission. Damn it! Yeah, they're talking about killing goblin heads. Fuck! Or killing goblins to get their heads. Goblin head. Hmm. <laughs> why do you want? Why would you want a goblin head? I don't know. She was saying something with like six silver for a goblin head. If they're in good like condition. Who would Still pay money for a head of a goblin? goblin? I don't know. Some people pay good money for you know. That makes no sense. Mm. I've been paid for uglier heads. <laughs> I've been paid less for <laughs> goblin head. I mean. If we were to get a bolt of giant spider silk, that would be about four silver. Mm. Marin, you're frozen. Are you okay? <laughs> you're, you're perfectly still. Thing with a goblin head. <laughs> she was trying to comprehend <laughs> goblin head. <laughs> I think we've broken them. <laughs> Boop. Wouldn't be the Go first time. The hey, who's he? <laughs> Curl. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You're not the first person to make that joke. You won't be the last. Well, we Probably live on. Not. We love. We live on a dock, so it makes sense. All right. Ah. <laughs> Go Shishi. Go Shishi. Go piss, girl. Right. Have... <laughs> <laughs> you Sorry. kill people, Carl? Why are you like this? <laughs> Have I done what? It's a good name. Do you it's kill people, name. Carl? Uh, I, I sure hope he doesn't carry that sword around for show. I prefer to take to bring people in alive if they need to be brought in. Usually pays more. Crew, but she's more annoying. Mm -hmm. Are conscious or not? Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. friends with Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Keep interesting. I, I'm not friends with Sarah because we rarely oh. talk. Oh. I like I say, I'm Hopper. I I'm an acquaintance of Sarah. I still I've think seen you. she wants to take my kid. Probably so not. Uh, I'm one of the bathhouse workers and I wear a pink dress. I haven't seen. Oh, like you're that. out of uniform. Ah, uh, you oh, new I'm outfit made by Marin, yes. Mm. Hey, Sarah, are we friends? Uh, again. <clears throat> I like and... hobbits. They're very puntable. We like you two. Hey, hey. <laughs> I once hobbit taught a once. hobbit how to kill. Oh, you first. That sounds much more interesting than what I did with him. <laughs> Well, I mean, you've helped I me fought in get a few wars killing. in my time, and there was a hobbit, and he helped me during one of these wars, and he carried a mace, and he would run through the tall grass, basically hitting oh, the knee smash, the huh? kneecaps of every single man, <laughs> and I would come up and stab them in the throat, and that was it. Like a I've tag heard game. legend of them. His name was Bovo. Bovo. Oh. Is Bobo? You know, I, I, he's still alive. I have heard a story of a of a knee capping halfling named Bobo. Hmm. Well, he heard about from the, me. I, see. I heard about the during the war and like the trip over here. That actually Arden brought it up at one point recently. Well, not. Yep. A while back. I taught him how to kill. He was small, even for a hobbit. Very small. If, if you hear strange noises in my mouth, it is storming outside. So good. Storming in your oh, brain, I got it. it. Mm -hmm. Storms are nice. They're very relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I respect him, because fighting as a small person up close is not easy. The bow is so much easier. Oh, it mentally broke him, but it made him stronger in the end. I don't regret it. Relatable. Yeah, how often well, do you I use that I knife? Just gave him a whistle and threw him into a tree and told him if he saw anyone coming to the blow knife the or the knife. <laughs> the... Like <laughs> the knife. <laughs> <laughs> the, you go, the the uh, well, just a human knife, from hobbit sword. Oh, the my my short sword. You mean your hobbit sword? My totally average side short sword. <laughs> hobbit sword. Excuse me. What? How often do you use sting? Later. <laughs> oh yes, I will see you later. Uh, We're going to have quite a lot of fun. Oh, is that tonight? Ooh. <laughs> Sarah and Coral getting lucky. Ew. No. I don't like oh. Have you used it a few times? <clears throat> oh, you know, in the be small when hobbits have their own skills and their own strengths and they make use of That's why I like the bow. I'm small and I'm quick, so I can run the fuck away and get into a position where I can then turn around and just fire an arrow into somebody. Or an orc. You have proven to be a worthy uh, comrade when it comes to ranged. I'm still alive, so I think it's worth something. You're very brave, too. Eh. I don't know if it's bravery or stupidity, but I'll take it. Oka! Why are you sitting all the way over there? Come over here. <laughs> oh well. I'm a little off today. Alright, keep that one in mind. Dark skinned, blue armor, blue and yellow shield. Okay. I assume that they're a mercenary? Probably for I that big... Probably for that them, big... Like... Probably for that big group that came in on horseback. That's... Because I think I remember seeing them with them. They're like... Alright. Fancy mercenaries. Mix of, mm. like, our Well, not too fancy. Folks. They ordered... Uh, the one mercenary I was pointing out ordered, uh, seven... Uh, clothing outfits. So... They have something oh, coming so up. Maybe they're freelancers. Is that the word? For whoever Lord came no, into town. No, they have a name for their group. <clears throat> I guess like they're they're like a known entity that's been around. They were really big. Um, helping people like ferry across from uh, Ireland to Gradia after like the uh, green explosion. To... Oh, boy. What is the green explosion? What? The orc explosion. Uh, well, oh. Hello, Gerbomb. Uh, no, when a giant chunk of <laughs> my homeland blew up from the Imperials. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's why I'm a novice. <laughs> How are you doing today, Mr. Gerbomb? Hi, handsome. Hello. Doing all right. Thank you. I know you're about to sit down, and I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he got <laughs> no, 45 degrees there. <laughs> you weren't here. I'm sorry. <laughs> he got all 45 degrees <laughs> of bending the knees <laughs> and his oh, back. Um, <laughs> it's like I'm cursed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Right. I'm not sure that's it. A meal and drink is good. Please. <laughs> is she coming with us? 
<sighs> Not for this one. Probably a good thing. The bright blue stick out in the dark. Mm. Shall we going on the pattern. real one? Ah. That'll be alright. Mm. This guard captain in particular looks for things that look out of place, so... So jealous of you people. Jealous of what? What are you okay. jealous of? <laughs> Is it I'm the just dark gonna go walk. Skin? That's, uh, well, it's kind of good looking. Yes, yeah, so I don't think purple's purple really my skin. color. <laughs> no, it's typically like, all right, I'm just gonna go tonight and just have no problem and go do things. Thank you, Marin. I'm totally not gonna have to trip over shit or run into walls. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, we you know, are useless during the day. I can speak for myself. That's a lie. You think I have to squint the all the time. Oh, You're still fucking terrifying. Thank you. True. I worry for my <laughs> kidneys anytime I'm around you. Why the kidneys? Why does everyone think I'm going to stab them in the kidneys? It's not going to be the kidneys. You don't bleed out from the kidneys fast enough. No, but it is because incredibly you don't painful. bleed out from the kidneys. It means you get to play around with it more. It hurts a lot. Yes, you can but torture. I don't play with my food. I eat it. Where did that go? Yeah, I don't know. I like you more and more every time we talk. Oh, I like you too. Mm. Kind Aww. of. Don't, okay. don't quite trust you as far as I can throw you yet, but that also probably isn't very far to begin with. Just welcome to Nodis at that point, I you think. Try to put your hands on me, <laughs> Kuro. <laughs> 240, 390. Don't threaten me with a good time, dear. <laughs> 244 the wrong tree <laughs> or 630 uh, copper 6 Ooh, silver 30 yeah. currently like my strongest strongest or you just say oh it? just just strong what <laughs> Sorry, my brain. I hope you're not on duty. Okay. Back okay. up the wrong tree. No, no, yeah, so let's I was thinking about those like really short trees that are like really like stubby and <laughs> wide. <laughs> Did you just call me a fucking stumpy tree? Whoa! Wow. No, that's a bit. Badass. That's a bit excessive. Uh, what? Sarah, I'm not the one who tree. wears the shackles. I, I thought it was shapely tree. People. If you wanna, if you want some shackles, there you can get some at the bathhouse. Or you can also make leather ones, they're adjustable. <sighs> leather what? Handcuffs? Like the jackals that you made? Oh, so serious. Ones? Oh, yeah. You were the one who said it. <laughs> I've done them. <laughs> no one enjoys wordplay anymore. Mm. No. I lost yeah. that. I paid for it. Mm. Not where we're from. I'm not sure. Mm. Not yeah, really. Is your sword purple? Gem is. The blade's not. Ah, oh, okay. Mm. I thought you like painted the blade mm. to match your. No, no, I'm not that petty. <laughs> Hello. I wasn't judging. <sighs> I need to snap my back. Oh, okay, yeah. that's fair. Sorry. You pointed <gasps> at me and said ew, and I felt very hurt for a moment. <laughs> no, not you. No, Hopper, I don't want you yeah, to blow out my back. behind me. <laughs> Cody? <laughs> hmm. You okay? Yeah, I'm just lonely now. Gotcha. Felt. Hmm. Hello, Shikar. Sometimes it can be quite fun just to you know, sit there and stare at this face. Wait, we're gonna yeah. dissociate? Let's do it. I call it yeah. Going <laughs> Everybody, go bye bye in three, two, one. Oh, great. That was fun. Feels good. It feels good <laughs> to mm -hmm. let go. To just be on 
nothing. Nothing. I love it. Not a single thing on my mind. Very. I'm getting good at that. Mm. Everybody thinks when I'm sitting around staring at you that I'm collecting information. <laughs> <laughs> Marin, you're not supposed to ascend. Mm. You're supposed to dissociate. <laughs> oh, sorry, I fell asleep. What's happened? <laughs> oh no, Sarah's just losing her mind laughing now. Uh oh. What happened? I was like. Nothing. Really. <laughs> I was gonna say I was doing that earlier. I almost, I almost died from laughing. You almost quite literally lost your mind. But yes, when I'm when I'm sitting around atop my perches, I'm not I'm not working. I'm fucking zoning out. I'm just, just gone. There's just... nothing there. <laughs> I'm fucking just hiding from everything, even myself. Meditating. Mm. <laughs> Who needs to gather information when you can just fucking... If you ever just want to sleep, you can technically Look count it like as meditating. The fact that besides, if you wanted to gather information... The amount of times... Sit up there, have... When sitting right here, you have just as much view and you can actually hear people. <laughs> the nice part about sitting point. up there is people have I'm... conversations along those walls thinking that they can't be I'm gonna heard. be nice. I'm gonna be nice uh. and not remind him. Not like the other day where they just kicked that one lord, kicked everyone out of the tavern. Oh, and yeah. they and they can and that. out of that street as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now they block the stoop, so like if they kick us out of the street again, we got nowhere to go. Just stoop at. Yeah. There's a lot they of cargo in Notus. Well, yeah, he had the Suddenly. royal guards with him, so. Yeah, he was he was full fancy. So whoever that was, hope oh, made a good impression. Very um, short thing, nothing even needed to be. I'm sure you did. The tavern is beautiful. Not, mm. not me, I could give a shit. Yes, the uh, in that tavern. salty sundowner. Basil did a wonderful job. Yes. Still can't believe you guys named the tavern wrong. <laughs> Named it wrong? Excuse me? Oh, no. <laughs> the painting depicts a tipsy tankard. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, Look it at is. it. It's a tankard that's tipping. <laughs> yep, it is. It's a tankard in, in the middle of the ocean. That's not tipsy. That's yeah, tipsy. that's well, why it's tipsy. It's floating. It's not tipsy. I always thought I was. <laughs> it's totally tipping. Look, it's spilling over to the side and everything. Or it the sundown. It would be tipsy if it was uh, on the... It would be tipsy. Where's if the it sun was there? On... It Sundowner. Would be tipsy if it was on the ground. Because it's, of... the ground. it's, it's called Sundowner. It, it's sundown. Is that what this? Is and that what its name is? Yeah, sundowner? salty, salty sundowner. It's salt water, it's and the sun is going down. That's still wrong. <laughs> it's, it's tipsy tankard. It's not. It's not. Not. Well, As a know, person who's reading the here. sign without reading the words, that that's what that is saying. Do you know what the sundowner even is? Sundowner? <laughs> I don't know. I'm asking. No, I don't know. What is it? <laughs> okay. Well, it probably would help then. A sundowner is someone who's downtrodden who tries to seek food and lodging at sundown when it's too late to work. Oh, that's what I was. Yeah. <laughs> so then we can assume mm -hmm. that the tavern that's, is that's named so after wrong. her. That's not the fact. <laughs> well, I can't believe you named the tavern after your daughter. That's kind of cool. Uh -huh. right? And that's not a. That's great. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh. You just keep saying that's a tipsy tankard. No. -uh. It is a tipsy tankard. <laughs> you're 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 wrong. What do you? The fuck you I, mean? I, I'm, uh. I can't be wrong about looking at like a picture and telling you what it's the same. It's not Welcome. tipping. It's floating. <laughs> it's tipping. Also, is the it's spilling. To you? It's a picture. It's, it's not tipping. It's spilling into the ocean. 
Okay, so the hmm? the spelt that's not quite spelt then. It's it, it's tipping over. Like I, it's very clearly tipping over. Sarah, you're on my side with this, right? Please be on my side. Go, here. We're look trying. The father and the child. We could come up with no, all just different. Just look different. at that sign without reading the words. What does that sign say? Sarah, make good choices. Please be okay. honest here. <laughs> Angsty <laughs> alcoholics. <laughs> My eyes Remember, he feeds us, Sarah. Oh no. Nah. See, disassociates. Drowning yeah, drunkards. <laughs> and down or the other. I'm no, then I'd have to put like a person up people. there. And that would be yeah, no, 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 it's you, not like that. No, that's, that's clearly a tanker. Here, you could clearly yeah, draw it. You just have to draw that. someone's hand coming out of the water. Oh, yes! Wow. See, that's so fucked up. And it does. Good. That is our time. Well, now I can fucking anything. I fuck, apparently can still see you. stuff, but I'm all not... All three of you. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Sorry, all three of them. I can... Okay, I was about to say, I'm fucking human. The only I'm thing I can... I can see Sorry, the only thing I can see is, uh, Garbom's shiny head. That was it. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to right That hurt. <clears throat> Garbom. Mm, the mind right. rain is very loud. I'm the same. <laughs> well, the guards are walking around, oh, turning on the lights. Maybe should be ghost rain, ghost rain. Oh, uh, there's a cart. It looks like Matthias. Is... What? Where's the ghost? Oh, they must have got the good more goblins. What the? Okay, maybe it wasn't okay. goblin heads. Really it was live goblins. Goblins. Why did they? Live why did they? Goblins. Why do they have live goblins? That wasn't just. That wasn't well, just goblin that heads. That's, that's goblin I mean, heads, torsos, arms, and limbs. Maybe they pay six silver for goblin heads. Maybe that they'll makes pay sense. more money for goblin holes. I mean, they pay. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, well, they capture orcs and <laughs> trolls for the arena, but I don't know why they're capturing <laughs> goblins for the. Are arena. we doing goblins, goblins in the goblins. arena? That would be scary. Can't they climb? Dredge would eat them. Dude, I wonder if the guys that threw shit on me have to fight the goblins tomorrow. That'll be great. That would be weird. Oh look, there's more of them. They're multiplying. <laughs> there's oh, hi! What? what a fool. Good evening, I can fucking My go favorite. if you don't want you around, huh? <laughs> no, 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 stay, no. stay, stay, please stay. <laughs> You're hot, it's fine. We, we need more hot men you here. You don't even know my faking. I don't I know, know, I forget I his know name. your voice! You just tell that you <laughs> I recognize, I recognize it's, it's the voice. The so attractive. Like, you, like I said, you know, you've never proven me wrong. <laughs> All drow are attractive. You have that, something like, about the skin. You have dangerous mystery vibe going that just kind of makes you hurt. Skin, you know? the you voice. Know, you got that nailed. Hi. And we, and we can have handsome elves as well. Scoot over. How are you? Scoot over. Do turn my back on anyone? <laughs> yes. Oh, you don't trust me, or you don't want to be rude? <laughs> That's the drought table. <clears throat> Kyoro, this is my friend. Good evening, Mr. Sanders. You can take if you want. Hi, that's me. You call me Sevitar. Pleasure to meet you. That's his name. Likewise. I knew that. Right. Of course you did. I assume you have I did. I'm just about stupid. Me with him. We just do No. I know that. What? Mm. Oh. This is the best Only time. I know your name though. Can put a voice to a name that pretty easily. <clears throat> that one long time friend of mine. Here in their unnatural yeah. habitat, two drow males <laughs> circle two each other. Here in the I no, not you. Move. Go away. It's the alpha. <gasps> oh, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck. Well, that what was that? Why was there an explosion? Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no! Oh come on! Did you I leave the cook? Get the fuck to the buckets or something! Sergeant! Get away from that! Holy shit! Take that lens and it's the well down the street, get some buckets. And I thought my cooking was Look. Do you think it was everyone here? Something the something exploded in the kitchen. That's where the fire is coming from. Okay. Oh shit. I think the kitchen's on fire. What happened? Here, so, the, the kitchen okay, exploded. Let's go. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect, Bucket. thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a gun. Go. Let it do. Well, that's interesting. 
<laughs> what happens? The kitchen, kitchen, kitchen's on fire. Yep, I know. There was uh, trying to be something quiet. happened in the kitchen. Something it exploded. <clears throat> Come on, give space. Let's go. Let's clear out. What I don't know. All of a sudden, I hear what sounds like a fucking explosion. I hear what sounds like a fucking explosion. I think it might be for your best interest to get fire along with happen just in case that fire starts to spread. Pardon. Okay, let's get out of stone. There's a lot of alcohol. Wait, you say fire? The smoke is billowing out, though. Oh, kitchen fire. Hello. Oh. oh. Kitchen exploded. Was that? Oh, start at the base. Yeah. Exploding start sounds? Start at the base and work your way in. <sighs> That's a lot of smoke. It's a I... precaution. If you don't oh, want to, then by all means. Oh, I'll get more water. <laughs> come on. Oh, here. Oh, oh, more people, come on. Water. Water. Okay. Uh, come on, give me. Come on. Come on. Here, Meredith, refill that one. I got this. You might want to move Miss Bates with your right knee. Direct line of the smoke. Thank you. Get the fuck out of there. Jordy? Yep. Um, just for clarification, are you throwing <coughs> water on a grease fire? Where's your water? Oh! Yes, I am. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Yes, Basil! Oh! Oh! Okay, so that's what that was. <laughs> Oh, thank fuck, I thought it was cum shots over there. Okay. Oh, I think it's time we leave. I think it's time we all leave. We need to leave. Wow, that is right next right to the Imperial right Building. That is not going to be good. Okay. Which is that might be worse. I'll be back. I'll be back. the fire. Don't, no, no more water, no more water. It's a grease fire. It's a grease fire. Probably that's not best to keep it. Yeah. Of course it is. It's a grease fire. Fuck. Don't put water on it. Fuck. No. No more water. Don't no more water. water. Ah. No, no water. water. It's a grease fire. It's water. a grease fire. Don't put water. Fire. Don't put water. <laughs> no more water. Grease fire. No more water. No more water. No more water. It's a Do different kind of fire. Get Do some sand. sand. Not Something. Sand. Dump out the water. Dump out the buckets. Get sand. Who the fucking shit made that explosion? I'm like, oh, grease fire. sweet old heavens and bomb, it's fucking on fire! Oh, I know, oh, God. I know. All right, all right, all right. I wouldn't- if I found out who set the fire, I would slap the hell out of them for ruining the night. I'm just saying, you were just cooking in there, weren't you? <clears throat> I was not cooking in there, I was cooking in the- Don't put water stuff. on there. Mm. Don't put water. Water, no. Alright, no water, no water, no water, no water. You gotta use sand. Go you grab sand from the beach. Just dump it. It's a grease fire. Water will make it- Right behind you. Honestly, it seems like I'm already bringing enough sand. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Let me get Excuse us me. a bucket. Alright. I hope so, do I have enough to drink water? I have high hopes. Really bad. Does this, does the lantern actually work the way it should? Oh my god, it does. That's amazing. <clears throat> I have to be extra quiet now, and I have to like whisper maybe. 
Is that the light on? Good. Nope. Oh, that one's on. Good. Oh, forgot about me. Okay, well, who knows where we'll be wandering in the night. But in the coming, de coming days, I will give you... Night. Is there a light over here? Good night. Nope. Yep. Yes. Uh, hi. Silver 50. Revised. So, if you want to play... Do 75 first and then. Oh, I'll revise. Yep. Just so yeah, you know. I'll, I'll revise it when I go to pair in full. That's yeah. fine. It's over 50. Perfect. Thanks. You are late. <clears throat> and forgive me my excitement for my before half, but then again, I am sorry for you. My mother always keeps me to be tired. <sighs> Anybody need a lantern? Anybody drop a lantern? I don't know. <clears throat> God, big moments. Um, Marco or me might have something for you. But I guess you might have to figure out if you're going to do it or not. And then you'll have to decide if you're going to do it. <laughs> I will let you know when you have a, a letter or a battle. Appreciate it. Hmm. Oh, this is a walk in the park for me. Uh, I get that, but it's a principle. Mm. I can get hard to pick this on the top of my head. That doesn't <laughs> sound. I don't think anybody's hurt. I mean, I think the I worst thing I've seen is maybe some mild smoke inhalation. side of the grill glass sand it's coarse and it's rough and it gets everywhere <laughs> looks like it's all pulled out it's all pulled out careful touching it oh, 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 oh i realized i pressed the explosions of non-cannon fire for once grease fire Okay. Who the hell was cooking grease where it would catch yeah, on fire? Ah. It's a tavern, Miss Fenor. Are you getting out of the cover, please? No, oh my God. These things are not supposed to happen if they ain't watching pots. What does the damage look like? I wasn't there, Miss Fenor. Yeah. All I heard was the explosions and assumed that somebody was firing off of some food. The bottle, but the light, no. yeah. I was worried it was one of y'all's cannons going off or something by accident. I'm just going to have to spend all my time. I don't know. Mr. Fargo, I mean, fuck's sake. That way. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I'm waiting on him, waiting for Tang. Just an accident. Hi. I need his little lamp gather some. Unfortunately, the well, at least there was that. Was anybody long here? wait uh, on snares go took us longer than usual, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow again. Tiny coin pouch with 25 oh, copper in it. Sorry, you dropped it. That's your share. You dropped it. Oh, Thank you. No, it's rolling. It's, gone. it's right. rolling. No, it's get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> No Are you sure you should head out in this one? Right up with something. But it was an accident. This one no. thing's gonna be with us. Or sorry, well, incident report is something we're gonna put in. They don't need to be investigated. What happened? Well, that's why I got trusty Willow, ain't you right, boy? You want to move? 
Yeah. I can uh, I have no, I understand. Oh, I yeah. No but there's, 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 there's just some herbs at night that I can only gather at night called moon seashell oh, and only oh. sprouts at night. Oh. So I have oh, to sorry, I go to out, out at night. Freaking out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, and I'm sorry for you to get into trouble again. No, no worries. Oh, get in trouble. Is, my, oh, let me think. is Miss Roddy okay? Did she wake up yet, or is she still sleeping? You don't know me anything. Thank you. She is asleep. You better go and uh, make sure that Peter gets all clean. Poor thing. Might be in the bathroom later. I'm gonna need it. I got soot all over me. Hi. Look that way. Oh, come on, Tang, where'd you go? You're only going to clean your skin. Oh, yeah, I see his glowing yellow. I forget what that meant. I'm dead, hold. I have the right to do it. I'm good night to you, Mr. Sir Tang! You sign up for the module a little off the top, to drop down to dress for my uh, overly. Are you ready? I need to gather a moon seashell and I need your help. Almost like it Yes. My good man. Some sort of incense. I need to go fulfill contract work. I'm that, aware uh, you are injured as shit. <laughs> Why do you think I'm like so agitated? <clears throat> I am prepared to do contract work for you. Ah, yes. My go plug Munchisu. Don't eat him, Willow. Only one injury. Goblin broken leg. Easy. Alright, let's Hey there, Gerberman. Well, I know. Yes, he's already been paid by the note by an old lady to treat say it was an accident. No sound of a foul play. Uh, I guess she's the one about the contract. Not that I saw. No, I, I get that. Clean this place up, actually. Why? Sure. I didn't see anyone in fact. Oh. Wait, what? All right. Why is... Wait, what? Yeah. Hey, Ling, let us part, of the, part of the fence is solid. For some weird reason. Yeah. <laughs> Don't question it. <laughs> Don't question it. Could I please have two volunteers? Hey, Mary. Rolling. Oh my God. With the 17 torty. You too smell something very strange in the air. Very faint. Very subtle. Hi, rookie. It over. The scented candle. Or it's getting back. Yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's hard to place the smell. It's very. You have some no. yeah. I'm, I'm not yeah, crazy. Do I just smell that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus on it. Quartermaster got a mouthful. Charles, yeah, it's, it's, it's something. It smells like incense or something. Oh, why is. Um, I feel like I know the smell. What the fuck do I know this from? I'm gonna have to do them tomorrow. Do you have one of those incense candles around here? Look, dude, um, like oh, look like a kind of man that would use incense bits. candles? Yes. Yeah. Really oh, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Exciting. For customers? Now we have something in common that I have to whisper now. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, okay. The burning. Whispering is difficult for me. You don't like the whisper. Yeah, we're gonna go to the dock and make the dock wide. Care, trying to get through the embassy. Yeah, you've been playing that character for a long time. Of course you don't mind. 
<laughs> Something went wrong, yeah? How much of this has been on Something top? went wrong. Well, it started over here. Yeah, over here. Yeah, mm. Did it catch on the Is it like a line? No, I don't think so. Mm. Want something to cut the edge off, Gar? <laughs> I really don't need more smoke and fire right now, right? I just don't. Hmm. Need some hands Where to clean? No, I'll clean it. It's not as bad as it looks, strangely. I'll clean it. I just don't want to have to do that tonight because I'm just kind of tired. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Thanks for the spear, by the way. Which is fortunate. Perfect here. I'm glad you're all right. Yeah. Fortunate. Yeah. And sorry about the miscommunication. Uh, so things kind of got a little wonky. Maybe we are. Maybe I'm going to go on and do more. Oh, fuck's sake, Kevin, please, 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 I can do it tomorrow if you want. Could you please? That would be great. Just write it down and bring it to me. Thank you. Do you want some pipes? No, I don't want some more smoke and fire. I've had enough oh, of that. Just let him Please. be. Just let him be. Okay. I have no clue about that. I don't want to find it. 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 I'll see you in the morning. Do <laughs> you need my help with cleaning? I will help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I'm gonna do an investigation. Perhaps best to let him be. We're safe, plenty of guns. I think he's well known. He's looked after. By those of old, old and new. Did you hear it? I feel like I'm over. Can you use a tree and bathing if you use all day? Oh, I can. Um, Red, maybe. What about a long jump in pole? Do try and give good I expect to go what? I think I'll just you know, take this time to retire for the night like so I can win, wake up really early and start working kind of run forward, stick into the ground and go <laughs> jump over what? <laughs> I mean, anything <laughs> can be a weapon if you're determined to well. Sorry, Aka. Well, you're not wrong there. No. Actually, I'd love to uh, see someone use a quill as a weapon. I haven't actually used I, uh, this on any fight. I think the closet is still up. Hinges.